Be ready to go. Fucking soy cock. Be him, they, them. Superficial bollocks. Be him, they, them. Spider monkey fucker. Some people just call me fluffy. Holy shit. Yad, 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 yad. It's Captain Gay. Yes, of course it's Captain Gay. Yad, 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 yad. It's really ready to go. You some Hollywood. the word tampon well, who fucking cares tripe it's regurgitated from the fucking bowels of some talentless hack you've been very kind but thanks problem being and the guy's talented and it's something incredible <laughs> gentlemen <laughs> you are a punk pop star man that is some johnny rotten pil or go back to sid vicious that is one pop culture phantasmagoria of awesomeness you just you just don't know what it's like to be a pop star <laughs> i i you know what i i i can't imagine how many copyright violations are in that one video it's amazing yeah. <laughs> amazing I'm going with um 
we're going to go with fair use. That's what we're going to go it is with. Fair use. <laughs> you, you, you know, you're, re, you're recontextualizing all of it. Yeah. Um, By the way, uh, I, I have to give a shout out to Justin. I watched your recent live stream and was thoroughly entertained. Mm. Oh, thank you. Um, I love your new setup. I, I, I did not get a Nightmare Batman and I bummed. <sighs> well, I've got some news to share and um, it's secret inside info, but we'll get to that. And I think that'll make both of you very happy. Really? Um, yes. Bum, bum. Ah! Uh, so yeah, ladies and gents, welcome to Hot Toys. And if you haven't already, please go to the description box down below. Click the iTunes link. Click the Spotify link. Hell, click both of the links uh, and purchase the hot. Uh, the uh, I was going to say Hot Toy Man, uh, the Ocean <laughs> Man Meltdown single. Uh, seventy-five percent of the profits from that are going to Zack Snyder's suicide prevention charity. Mm. Uh, so please, please, please do support it. I'm not making a penny. I'm not making a brass penny off this whatsoever. So all the money that I was going to get is all gone to that. So please, please, please support it. Uh, let's raise some money for a good cause with a nice uh. Well, earworm, really, that can't seemingly get out of some people's heads. Critical Drink is still telling me off. It can't get out of his head, but, you know, there you go. Dude, I want you to do, I want Trevor <laughs> Horn to do a 12-inch oh. remix, Frankie Goes to Hollywood style, <laughs> on vinyl. What do I have I'd to do to get that? Trevor Horn to do that. Oh, my God. Wouldn't that be the greatest thing ever? Yes. I mean, you should release a 7-inch, a 12-inch, multiple copies. We vinyl. We did look into vinyl. We, we thought about getting, like, some vinyl together and the minimum that you can do is like a 500 run oh dude you'd so sell out of that oh, you reckon i was like i'm not sure Bruh. Maybe you, need to walk before Bruh. Can you walk. would with the way vinyl is going now with our audience you, you i would do a i would do a 2500 uh 2500 run limited edition once they're gone they're gone same deal of course you have to ship them that's the problem yeah but um people would buy that you probably sell out in the uk record stores but you know what you need though is a B side. Mm. Uh, can't, Time comment, to... can't comment on that at this stage. Uh, okay, well there you go. I love it. You know the Prince's song "Erotic City" was a B side. So there you go. Not any appear... B sides that were more popular than A sides. Probably that one. Although mm. I don't remember what it was a B side on. Hmm. Well, I too watched Justin's stream last night. Uh, yes, you and, did. Uh, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, didn't realize that you were streaming, and I was literally just flicking through something me, to watch as I was. Me laughing. too. And, and I appeared. It, yeah, live. Justin, uh, Justin's collection. So I was like, "All right, let's get in here." Uh, so jumped in, and you had the beautiful nightmare Batman up, and then you oh, had, yes. of course, the the gorgeous Henry Cavill there. That is. That to me, I utterly agree with you. That to me is is the best Superman figure, currently, wow. currently available. I've got mine on his flying stand, doing his flying pose, uh, and I absolutely adore it. I know the suit is very fragile, um, but yeah, the chrome. Oh. I got, I got. Oh, I know, Come I on, man. I know. Uh, I just am saying. I, I gotta know. put it. I gotta put the uh, the rest of the Fortress of Solitude back up, though. Oh hell yeah. That um, display base is huge, but I miss when they would do that stuff back in the day. They'd give you these big honking things, but then they'd also give you a normal stand with it. Right, and they did so, with that Superman figure. Yes, exactly. Whereas, like, with Justice League Batman, you if you get the deluxe one, you just get that huge Parademon display base, which is cool, but then it doesn't match the rest of the league. So, like, you want both. So it's kind of like you, you can't really win with that so i wish they would go back to including like just the classic display base with the you know if they're giving the big things but i really love the um i much prefer the 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 aquaman movie even though i haven't even seen the aquaman movie i much oh. prefer the aquaman movie costume because it is so much more uh comic book authentic right the uh, beauty I'm, that figure is stunning and, and it just looks it's so again it's another one of these figures so simple so few uh accessories doesn't need any it was very the, close to hitting my top five oh uh, you know i was paying off the justice league aquaman 
And then it was the second figure that this happened at Sideshow. When I made my final payment, it turns out they didn't have any more. They were out of it. And so I didn't get it. That also happened to my dark side Anakin. Oh, no. Dude. Dude. I was annoyed. Damn it, Sideshow. Uh, yeah, and now, now you know, I, I have all of the, uh, um, I have all the Phantom Man, I have all the prequel trilogy figures, except that one, and it 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 annoys me to no end. Um, by the way, Justin, once again, first of all, mad props. Thanks for giving me the shout out on your Tom Cruise stream when you show the Nathan Algren figure. Uh, no what problem. a great! It was because of you that I bought that thing. That, but aren't you happy you have it now? I'm so, oh, so happy. It's I'm such so a great happy. Figure. But it was very nice. You I'm gave me so two shout outs in the beginning and at the end. So thank you for that. Yes. But I have to say, <laughs> uh, Toys Wonderland did get in. Well, they have their, they're getting in a restock of the Freddie Mercury yellow jacket figure. Now, I wanted to get both, but they ran out of the, the live aid figure. So I did it, it uh, the repop or, or the, the reissue of the Freddie Mercury, which is a great, I mean, as far as on the, sh in terms of being uh, on toyetic or shell looking good on the shelf, it's fantastic because I, I ordered that. I ordered the body. You know, you, I had a little problem with the body. I had to call you and I ordered the 30 instead of the 31. I was able to change that order and get the 31 body. Excellent. But this week, my Jimi Hendrix, my Jimi Hendrix from Blitzway came in uh, to to uh, Big Bad Toy Store, and they have shipped it to me. So hey, as I'm as exciting. I'm building my my six scale, I just wish somebody would do a Prince. I hope you that, need to add um, as now. Yeah, oh, well, that's the thing. Now I need it. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. As needs to <laughs> now that he's the new electric. He's he's the Paul Oakenfold, or his he's the Tiesto, or. Pick your favorite I don't, DJ. I don't know if I've got a fat suit big <laughs> enough for a figure like me yet, you know. Dude, the way you move, eventually you're going to be going, or you'll you'll be touring around <laughs> the world. You got to go to Ibiza uh, over the summer, and okay. you got to do a set, and you do that song live, and you'll mm. shake your shimmy, oh, and yeah. you'll be, you'll you'll look like David Beckham in no time. We're losing ten pounds a night just yeah. just through water, <laughs> just through. Oh fruit. yeah, 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 yeah. Um. You showed it off last week, but mm. people probably here haven't seen it as well. One thing that we both ordered and actually got Gary from Nerdrotic to order was, of course, the Caroline Monroe Vampirella. Limited run, 300, 300. units only. And small run. It was right. Wow. You showed it off on stream last week. The face sculpts looked even better than the images and the figure itself looked incredible the base was something else i hadn't arrived uh i think it was monday monday sunday i don't know but over the weekend i think mine mine eventually came and seeing it on the screen and seeing it in person it's just the touching the, part it's completely it's that it's that good. It's the feist and body, man. Come on, don't, don't. Yeah. I know, I know you. Come on. Well, Gary's titty popped out, and I let him, I let him show. But I've got mine in a very yeah. Now that you know what I didn't, I have mine standing behind me. But after looking at you putting it, or putting her like that, I'm like, oh, that's the way to do it, right there. So she, you know, she's got one leg up, she's got the other leg, and then you know, a little so the cut then goes on the ground. Yeah, yeah, that's the Eight that's that's it. Beautiful. Uh, I've still got to put the arm guard on. I haven't done that yet. I, you know, you got to put the bat up there. Put the bat resting on her uh, wrist. Can do. Yeah, yeah. I could put it on the uh, that hand there. Yeah, that's that's quite the uh, that's quite the uh, pose. And then and that they, base, that base is to die for. Oh, it's, it's heavy, base is chunky, stunning. Uh, yeah. And then this skull, this skull is actually an accessory which yep. you can put her fingers in, so she can hold that. But you can also rest it very nicely on there with the rest of the skulls and that is just oh my god it is something else if you have not got this and you can still get hold of it you you got them you got to pick this up this is this is incredible well, 
let's get on it. Look at that face sculpt. Look at that face sculpt. And the earrings and stuff. So for those of people who don't know, Vampirella was a character that was originated in a comic book published by Warren Magazines. They publish eerie and creepy. And she celebrated, the character celebrated its 50th anniversary. And back in the 70s, Caroline Monroe, who played Stella Starr in Star Crash, who was in, she was Naomi me. in the James Bond movie, Spy Love Me. She was starting Maniac with Joe Spinell. She was slated to play Vampirella in the movie that never got made, I think in 76. So Executive Replicas, the company that made that figure, they had done an earlier Caroline Monroe from Star Crash that I showed on the show. Yeah. And um, they did they did a regular Vampirella that looks like the comic book, but then they did a 300-run Caroline Monroe as the movie figure that never the movie that never got made. And uh, so that's what that is. And I I didn't get the regular one. I I got the Caroline because I'm a huge Caroline Monroe fan. And um, yeah, like who, who would be the, the the Star Crash figure? Here's the box. <laughs> I show the figure, but this was they couldn't call it Star Crash, so they just called it because they licensed this from Caroline Monroe. Mm. So here's the box for the the Star Crash figure, which looks just like that. Although the face sculpt on the Vampirella is a much much better likeness of her. Yes, it's so it's so good. Um, but yeah, because it came in that box, and then the the base is in like separate from it's it. Separate, and yeah, it out. and it has two different head sculpts. Two head sculpts, uh, multiple accessories, um, multiple fully hand functional. changes. Uh, <laughs> fully articulated. Fully articulated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wink, <laughs> wink, nudge, it, nudge. It, get it into this position, I'll tell you what. It's... But um, it was worth it because I just think resting up against the resting up against the tombstone, just looking casual. Looking Is that a casual. euphemism? Yeah. <laughs> Very much. You almost up made me spit my teeth. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's resting up very, against very my much tombstone. So rest, yeah, and uh, oh yeah, look at that thing. That that is that is. Justin's like his wife's going to see this. I'm out. Sorry, yeah. boys. I can't come back. I can't come join <laughs> you on any more streams. Come out and play anymore. <laughs> These old dirty oh. old men. Phenomenal purchase. Phenomenal purchase. But speaking of. Phenomenal purchases, uh, possibly gone wrong. Uh oh, uh, what is oh, no. here? <laughs> this is the omniscient. Oh, Where no, has gone. Where has gone? Wait a minute, does anyone else have it? Uh, well, I paid for it in full and I, I haven't received <laughs> a, a refund yet, so and I haven't received an email saying that we're not going to be making it, but it's not on the site anymore interesting um, is it on um toys wonderland i don't th think so but i haven't checked uh, i haven't checked i'd say for a week let me have a look I really, so yeah where oh where has my idris elba gone <clears throat> oh where oh where can he be I'm hoping it just sold out and they just took the page down rather than putting sold out there. Yeah, but it, the, but they do like their solds out, as you can, yeah. as you can see. He's still he's still up on Toys Wonderland. Okay. Um, so he's still there. Let me check their Toys Era's Facebook page because... Yeah, I mean, my, my pre-order... Oh, you know what? Okay, as Yeah. When I hit my pre-order, if I go into my orders... And I click on it. He's still there. Okay. Excellent. Okay. He's, he's still there. Ooh, that, I'm really that... excited for that one. Yeah. Hopefully, would... it should be out soon. Toys Era are pretty quick usually. Yeah. I mean, I look at this. It's very funny. There's. There, I must have. I don't know. There, I have so many one six outfitters uh, deposits. But um, um, when's the Robin and the Nightwing releasing? The so so toys ones. I can ask actually, um, but I'm pretty sure he said next is going. So he's got a, a backlog hmm. of stuff. Um, next, he said is going to be the Arrow because that's supposed to have been 
out already, um, yep. but their factories closed over Chinese New Year, right? Yeah. Um, so Arrow, and then I think it was the Superboy. Okay. They were trying to get out. Yes. Yeah. The- um, and right. then I think it's Robin and Nightwing. Nightwing. Okay. Um, but I would imagine two, three months, maybe it can't be longer than that, surely. Right. Surely. I want it's it. Really- it looks good. Yeah. I just want that Green Goblin. Oh, just bring yes. that Green Goblin my way. I I am I so it. excited for that. That's, I'm that's very amazing. excited. I got something uh, that I was waiting for that is not a figure, but it's something oh. that I that I collect a lot of. Okay. And um, I am a huge fan of of from the UK, Jerry Anderson's shows. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. The Thunderbirds yeah. and Captain Scarlet, but specifically when I was a kid. His first two live action science fiction shows, UFO and Space 1999. Oh. Now, in the mid uh, aughts, there was a company out of the UK called Product Enterprises that was making studio scale. Well, yeah, they were, I guess they were making studio scale. They were making replicas of the ships on sp- uh, from Thunderbirds and Space 1999 and Captain Scarlet. They have, they, they went away for a while and they've become a new company called 1612 and if you're looking at online 16 is spelled as a word and 12 is a number it's all one thing so it's 1612 now i've been buying their eagles now they've been making them studio scale so they've made 44 inch eagles i i couldn't i i didn't make it i didn't get it i a 44 inch eagle is like and they're selling for like 2500 pounds so but i would love one i couldn't get them then they did a whole, they reissued and they made them better, a whole line of their um, Eagle Transporters, which is the great one of the great s- ships of all time, right behind the Enterprise, the Millennium Falcon. So they've done a whole range of those. Now they've delved into UFO, the Jerry Anderson series UFO, which I loved as a kid. So their Interceptors, the, the iconic Interceptors that would launch out of moon craters just like mm-hmm. that um they they finally uh released their f- interceptor so as everyone knows from the show they have three they they, they always they l- launch in three so you had to get three i mean maybe you didn't have to but you had to get three well so yeah. <laughs> so here here is here is the interceptor in the box oh, now wow. but it comes with the moon crater, which is something you could never get before the actual. So what happens is these are secreted in an underground base un, uh, under the surface of the moon. And they're they're When they launch, they launch out of a moon crater. So this one comes with the moon crater. So I thought that uh, you're going to have to buy a moon now. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> so here is, in fact, here it is open. Here's one I prepared oh. earlier. And uh, <laughs> yes, the one I prepared earlier, and it comes with a backdrop. Oh, I of, love that of the moon base. Oh, nice! So, so there, so it comes with this back. Now, what I have to do is, um, on the other ones, I got to get like the surface of the moon to extend it. But I mean, it's like you know, it's a diorama base. And uh, when I was a kid, Dinky Toys from the UK made this, but it was ro- the wrong color. It was green, and yeah, famously, yeah. It, it would fire this missile. But this is a very, very cool piece. And this this thing is really heavy, this moon mm-hmm. base. And uh, for me, having a, a 1612 is doing amazing work. Eagle Moss is going to start making eagles, eagle transporters, but they're smaller. But this, I mean, if you could see, like, even the ship, but even the bait, this, you can see it's yeah, got burn awesome. marks from, yeah, when, the, when it takes off. It's really well done. And the fact that they have this backdrop, I wish that they had the option of if you bought three, you know, you'd have a, a whole moon background because there's only one moon base. And uh-huh. I don't, the yeah, only thing I know. don't like about this, I mean, I love everything about it is I don't know why they had to put, you can see the UFO logo on the corner. I mean, I it's mean, just, I personally like that, but <laughs> yeah, I, I know. But if you're going to have three lined up, like they had to figure that idiots like myself would have to have three you can't just have f 
O one U F O G O. So, and these have sold out, but they're supposed to get more in June. And you know they're hideously expensive, but they do small runs and they do a great job. Sixteen, twelve, and they basically, and they announced this week because they're they've made so many eagles. Now they're moving over to UFO, but they're doing the the hawks, which are the battle versions of the eagles, and now they're doing a super swift, which was a a different spaceship from Brian the Brain. And I look, I hope they make all the spaceships from Space Nineteen Ninety Nine. So I picked up this this week and. I, I mean, as a fan of this show since I was a little kid, these this for me this is like orgasmic. It's to have this. It's just the best thing ever. And now, um, I, I don't know if I've ever shown it before, but this um, they also make these, which I already got. This oh, is the alien. This yeah, is the yeah, alien yeah, yeah. UFO oh. from the ship, and it also came with a moon base, but it says UFO on it. Like the and it, you know, it's. As if it's landed there, and and again, this looks just. I mean, this it, you look at it now, it's kind of funny looking, but this looks just like it looks from the show. Mm. And it, it, I love these. And again, they re these are they're new, they're new versions, but they did re re. Well, they first put these out in the aughts, like two thousand five or something, but they were quickly gone. Very expensive on the secondary market. Now they're very expensive on the non-secondary market but it's great to have them so i got that in this week and i was waiting for that for a long time but 1612 they're putting out 12 uh, 12 scale action figures of the moon base alpha characters and they're doing more ships and they're doing studio scale meaning big versions of the thunderbirds as well that they haven't put out yet so they're doing thunderbird one and they're doing thunderbird three and I'd love to get a Thunderbird 3, but 2,500 pounds, even I, like I'll have to go sell myself on the street or something to get that kind of money, but whatever. I'm Dude. old. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I you know, I, I, I've got some Japanese die cast to show too. Sacrifice certain things. You know? I know, right? Uh, it's, you know. Got to take off the team. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, because I got the... Um, just quickly chat by the way thank you for the super chats that have come in as as always we'll do the discussion segment the showing off segment uh and then we'll do the super chat segment uh it went, you know so thank you very much indeed for for those coming through not ignoring them um but of course uh with big chief big chief have got the uh captain scarlet figures out <clears throat> and they've got john koenig coming out from space 1999 yes yes um which is yeah i think did i send you that um but they got yeah they got the Captain Black, Captain Scarlet, Captain Blue, and they are just they are just they just look like they're one in six, but they just look like the figures. Yeah, they just look like the um, the puppets from the from the series. And and, uh, and you told me as that that <laughs> look as everyone knows I'm a straight red blooded American male, but I do have a man crush on John Barrowman. No, that played, was that was the one. Yeah, who yeah, plays yeah. Captain Jack Harkness? On Torchwood and and Big Chief announced they're doing a Captain Jack figure mm -hmm. with his trench coat and I'm like, oh, I'm all over that, son. I am all over that. Yeah, because I mean, uh, Torchwood oof. Children of Earth is five of the finest hours of science fiction television ever made. Yes, it's uh, it's the best Torchwood by a country mile. Yeah, um, and uh, very creepy and uh, just great. You can take it away from the Doctor Who universe because it, you know, it's not actually Doctor Who isn't actually relevant in there. Um, no. It's just great sci-fi. No, the, it was you know to tell you, I I had never seen I'd seen Captain Jack on Doctor Who. I'd never seen Torchwood before. Yeah, and someone said you really need to watch Children of Earth, and I'm like, do I? Mm. And they're like, no, you do. And I got the Blu-ray, and I got home from work. It was like one in the morning, and I got it. I'm like, I'm just gonna sample this. No. I put it on. I had to watch all five hours. It was like six in the morning. I had to go back to work in a couple hours. Didn't matter. It was that good. It, it's it's an amazing five hours of, and it's one of those things where you're like, when when what's going on is actually revealed, it's like, well, okay, what's going on in that show is so monstrous, and the threat oh. is so dire. And when you get to the, I'm like, wait a minute, what? Uh, yeah, and because well, yeah, I mean, sorry to cut you off, but. You want your heroes to be heroes. 
And then when it all drops, what happened? You're Dude. like, fuck. Dude, and Pat, uh, Peter Capaldi is in it. Oh, he's and incredible in incredible. it. Incredible. Who became, what, the 12th Doctor? He became the 12th Doctor. The 12th Doctor. I mean, he was so good as Frobisher in that. I, yeah. If you haven't seen any of Torchwood or you love science fiction, you'll get it. You'll understand what's going on. But Children of Earth, those five hours, and they're all directed by Euros Lin, who's an incredible European director of television. He does a lot of television, but there's a cinematic quality to it. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I'll call it a science fiction. It's a five hour movie. It's incredible. But hmm. thank God they're making. Um, this is, this is where they got it right, where Netflix, in my opinion, has got it wrong. Like, I love series like uh, Daredevil. I thought they were great, but it was bloated. 13 right. hours was, was bloated. That that could have been, they could have been six issues, six parts, you know, and really tight, really concise. You could get your story done, no problem. But they bloated it and bloated it, and you kind of fell in the middle that things were just like, treading water and you're like oh, I'm just, it's gonna start picking it back up again but it's like oh no now we're gonna go to jane and we're gonna discover why jane's got green nails i don't know to know why jane's got green nails um so it's kind of like that but but children of earth was just like five parts five hours and this is horrific yeah it was i i loved it and it's so the children thing with like village of the damned it was so creepy it was so good mm. i loved it so much yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen it, folks, uh, definitely go watch Children of Earth. If you haven't watched Torchwood, doesn't matter. Uh, just you might, all you need to know is you know, Jack Captain Jack Harkness is, I mean, you don't even need to know about his immortality in this or no. anything. Um, it just comes in, you know, comes into play a couple of times, but uh, uh essentially, <clears throat> it's it's just... I've seen him in Doctor Who only so far, I haven't seen Torchwood, oh. but I've seen him in Doctor Who. Um, so maybe I'll check it out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. you'll like it. It's good. Like With that Harry glowing Potter. recommendation, how could I not? Oh, it, it just, just you know, because you know, Doctor Who's more for everyone, for for kids and for adults. There's nods to both. Imagine you take that kid equation completely out, <laughs> and you literally just have this character is now an adult character, tret like an adult character, in a, in a very dark. Uh, wow. And I can't say what because. When the when the revelations happen, you'll be your jaw just goes. It's so dark. Yeah, like, I was very. I'm like, that's some of the darkest dark. shit I've ever seen in a science yeah. fiction Not show like ever. Room for a dream, where you're just like, I can never watch this again. Yeah, I yeah. I can never watch this again. I would be. It would haunt me for life. No, it's like it's good dark. We just like, God damn, I didn't see that coming, and yet it was there all along. <laughs> All right, I'll check out. it out. I will check it out. Check it out. Uh, so, did Justin, you get anything this week, Justin? Um, news, I hear. I've got. Yeah, shall I discuss the news? Yes. The, um, the exclusive scoop. Um, so, my source has been right. Has set the groundwork. He's been right for the last, I don't know, six months with his predictions. He's been pretty much dead on. He hasn't been wrong once. But still, I have to put a disclaimer, just treat it with, sure. you know, grain of salt. But he has been right. So anyway, uh, he messaged me yesterday and he said, hey, Justin, there are three figures that I know about that are confirmed. Confirmed in his mind. So again, grain of salt. The first of which is Nightmare Batman. So apparently that is happening. So they're re-releasing it. Yes. The second is Black Suit Superman. Yes. Yeah. And the third one. Are you are you ready for the third one? Can we get uh, I, 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 I don't believe it? Dude, can cyborg. Yes. yes. Cyborg. Cyborg. Yes. Seriously. <laughs> I don't I don't believe it, but he said that those three are the only three oh, and oh, they oh, are oh, happening. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna have the team, baby. I'm yeah, gonna have I mean the that's team. what I want. I, you know, I want to. I want the shelf. I want. The, I want it completed. You know, it's time. It's about and, damn time. And I bet they're gonna have great light up features on that cyborg figure. Do you think they're gonna do any so. kind of changes to the nightmare 
What about a nightmare Joker? What's up, buddy? Come on. I hope they do. I hope they do a nightmare Joker. That would be fantastic. Um, I hope they update the paint applications on the Ben Affleck. Like, not that this one is bad by any means, but if you compare it to the Justice League one, that one is like outstanding paint applications yeah. on the, just the base plate alone. So I'm hoping they update that a little bit, and I'm hoping they change the coat material because it's like kind of mm. glossy, very, very um smooth whereas in the film i just watched bvs again last night actually in preparation for Zack snyder's justice league and it was like the coat's like weathered and it's a rough texture um so i'm hoping they change that coat material but then again i'd maybe they won't because they don't want to devalue the original by having an improved version because then sometimes they do that so they don't make collectors mad um they probably i think likely it's just a straight up reissue exactly the same as the original like the mark 47 i reckon is right how they are yeah i'll take, I'll take I, it I'm, I'm gonna get another one uh, i don't know why but i want another one <laughs> i have him in the background there doing you know some shooting or something i don't know I, i'll put him somewhere there needs to be a second one yeah <laughs> but um he's come with the yeah. nightmare batman uh he comes with his scar l his rifle um Ooh. he comes with uh 1911 his handgun um, and binoculars comes with a set of binoculars, uh, an optional scarf. So you can have the one like over his mouth as well. And that's okay. it. Oh, wait, no, maybe he comes with the grappling gun. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I got mm. him, but that was my first ever hot toys figure from Hong Kong. Actually, the nightmare Batman it was my wow. first ever early purchase. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. I mean, that's, um, oh. If that is if this pans out, obviously we we were all clamoring for a black suit Superman. That's going to be great. Oh yes, the cyborg. We just needed a cyborg to complete that collection. Yeah, man. needed it. And the, the question is, I, I I slept on that one, and I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have slept on it. The question is, who is going to be your Superman in the display as? Because you've got the super bright color oh. version. Because I'm having this crisis as well now. It's like. Do I just have two Superman figures in the display? It's like, there are worse things that you could have happen there, but... I, I, the way I see it is um, I have black suit Superman and tactical Batman. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then I World's have... Finest. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I have bright suit Superman and, as you've got there, uh, secondary suit, initial suit uh, Batman. So that can be your World's Finest and that can be your... Just Excellent. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Mm. We'll both yeah. do that because I, I, at the moment, J Tactical Suit Batman's like the odd one out. He's mm. like, you got a second Batman for some reason, and then you got the regular Batman. Okay, good plan. It is sorted. <laughs> I just want to know if Jazz Inc. are going to make that huge Batman <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be this big. That huge oh. I, I don't know i reviewed you can't see it it's literally it's up there it's absolutely enormous i reviewed the 112 scale bat yesterday which was one of the oh, most yeah. ambitious videos that i ever tried to do i, I must have been crazy it took me all Did day jazz to film ink made that uh no the hot toys one. Oh, yeah. oh. So hot toys dude i hot have toys that made, yeah i i can't I, I tried doing an unboxing early on when i started my youtube channel i didn't really yeah. consider it i'm like i can't like, I can't do like I can't I can't like hold it up. Yeah, like I couldn't. So I just gave up. <laughs> I just it, it, was, I was, it was yeah. I I don't know what I was thinking when I, I was like, oh yeah, I'll film this today. It'll take me a couple hours. No worries. It took me all day to film. What, this what do you think of it? Thing. I love it. Like it's it's one twelve scale, mm. but it's the same physical size as the one six scale tumbler. So it's huge. It's huge. Yeah, <sighs> wait for those of, for those people who who might not know at home what we're talking about. Hot Toys made the Bat, which is Batman's flying machine from the Dark Knight Rises. And if you have the deluxe edition, it comes with the Selena Kyle, the Batman, and the nuclear reactor, the bomb, the bomb. And it's but it's one twelfth scale. It's not one sixth scale. They talked about making a one six scale one. Can you imagine? There's no way. <laughs> There's no way it would have been no huge. I would, yeah, I'd need a new house. And I, I'm surprised. It, like it was funny. You could get it for a long time because a lot, not a lot of people bought it. Yeah, but, I, I think, like I said in my review, um, yeah, it, like it was a kind of, 
you can't really win in this situation because if they made it in one six scale, nobody would buy it because it'd be too big and too expensive. And if you make it in one twelve scale, pretty much nobody's going to buy it because they don't want one twelve scale. So it's yeah. like you can't really win nowadays. Hot toys just wouldn't make it. But you know, but yeah, but then, but now twelve scale figures are so popular. And there's three yes. different, you know, major companies making Mezco, them. And it, Mayfix, Figure Watts. Yeah, yeah, and and to have that in your, if you're a 12th scale figure collector, to have the bat is amazing. I mean, it's a beauty. Oh, and the propellers actually rotate, and the thing, the little fans at the front rotate, and it's got the lights. It's a beauty, and you can plug it in, so you don't right. have to have it on batteries. It's amazing, and it's fucking huge it is it's, i wish i could i might move it for one of my next streams too so we can discuss it's just there i might move it central yeah. and it's got a really good stand see. too yes you, you have know, two options with the height you can have it like landed or you can have it in the air you know like on an angle like it likes to do um yeah Anyway, it took that, me ages to film that did you get that from your patron saint who gave you all the other dark knight stuff I did not. I purchased this from a local collector um, for a premium because I just wanted it and I needed to have it after reviewing the Tumblr, which was given to me by Bob Dylan, my, as you said, patron saint of Dark Knight memorabilia. Yeah. Um, so I, I had to have it. I don't know why. I don't really collect that much on 12 scale stuff, but I, I wanted it. it it's because it's badass, toys. dude. I know. Yeah. It's, I I, it I had to do the same thing. I'm like, I'm not gonna buy. It. I'm like, no, nah, I think I'm gonna. And the figures aren't bad. By like, they're not amazing. No. But the the Catwoman, I think, is worse than the Batman. But mm. I wouldn't say the Batman's the worst one twelve scale figure I've ever looked no. at. And they're it's they go normal. inside the they go inside of it anyway. So it's not like you're gonna exactly. So yeah. But um, aside from that opening, that thing, I haven't really received much. I've been on a bit of an anime kick right now, actually. Uh, have, no, wait. Uh, have you posted your bat video yet? Or is that not gone? Uh, no, it's live for channel members right now, but it should go up. Uh, I'm not sure when it's going to go up, actually, because I've got the Tumblr review coming out tonight, uh, which was also a very ambitious video because I wanted to have, I still wanted to do the my white background and to do the white background at that scale is non-trivial. Let's say, let's just say it was very difficult. <laughs> For those, by to, the way, who, yes. who, who we should say that Justin, uh, Justin Kane, his channel is called Justin's Collection, and in my estimation, he does the absolute, the best, bar none, unboxing videos of Hot Toys figures on <laughs> the internet. Now yeah. I know he's here. And uh, but I can I would say I can say this to his face or I I'd say this to other people. If you want to know anything about Hot Toys and, and th third party figures, he does the best reviews on the web. Thank you. No, Thank you absolutely you. do. The way you film everything, the way you go through the sh figures, and the way you compare and contrast previous releases. It's if you're a Hot Toys aficionado, it's definitive. You're you're Thank like you. I've been going. Oh, Sorry, go Rob. ahead. Well, I was gonna say, like, I've been going back and picking up older stuff now as well. Oh, it's great! Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going back. I love your vintage figure reviews and the third party. I, uh, you know, it, it, highly entertaining. I could spend three hours just watching your reviews. <laughs> of course, don't have your wallet anywhere near yourself when you do it. Well, well let's not. I've, I've <laughs> been blamed for a lot of uh, spending decisions, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I don't know. It depends how you look at it. Time people are saying this, this <laughs> show needs to come with a warning. Uh, attached a to disclaimer. it. Disclaimer. Yeah, people who keep Put an asterisk keep somewhere and then having down the bottom like it's scrolling past. Warning: well, this stream may cause. So spending. I think I'm going to start with disclaimer. This show can be bad for your wallet. I'd actually like to think that there's a really interesting social experiment happening in the background of all of Justin's videos, which is he's been married now for a year. You celebrated your year anniversary. How yes. long will his marriage last with the amount of figures he acquires? <laughs> and and what's what's going to happen there? I, I can't wait because one day you're gonna have to bring your wife on the channel and she's gonna have to uh weigh in on all this. But us, <laughs> us long term geeks, we're waiting to see is this gonna work or are the figures gonna hope take because so. <laughs> you know I'm waiting, I'm waiting to see. 
I have decided what? to um, condense the collection room and the studio room into one because I felt bad taking up two rooms in the house. Um, so kind of I will you. be. Don't feel bad. <laughs> Take those two rooms. Come on now. I will be replacing those glass cabinets and this stuff with module case. I'm going to go floor to ceiling in the studio room, every single wall. So I'll, yep. I'll still have more space than I did in the in the collection room, but I'll be able to see the stuff because that room really like serves no purpose aside from just housing the stuff. And I never go in there. Like there is no reason for me to go in there aside just to look at stuff. And who has like time in the day just to go and stand in a room and just look at stuff. Like if it's in the studio, you'll be able to see everything while I'm working or whatever. But uh, like, at the moment, no, like it just doesn't get seen unless someone comes over and we go and you know look at the figures or whatever. And it should be in your so, back. You should like have the depth. It should be in your background yes. so you can see. But I have to say, you have an incredible, incredible display of figures. <laughs> Thank you. I don't mean to complain. It's I love it, but you know it doesn't get seen, which is a crime. Oh, woe is me! For <laughs> I am undone. <laughs> By the way, okay, can we? If you want to get rid of some Justin? I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Just, a, just, a, just a, a postal address away. Just ship him off. I'll be fine. I'll take him. I'll cuddle them on. Oh, uh, can we talk about Maja Case for a minute? Sure, we can. Okay, I looked around for all different kinds of cases. Yes, and you know there was a, a shout out to a guy online, a guy named the Collector. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know him. I watch his videos about Maja cases. I'm like, you know what? Really like Maja cases. Gem Mint Collectibles yeah. did videos about a, uh, like it's a white Lucite, unbelievably expensive looking cases that they're they're putting out on Kickstarter, but who knows mm -hmm. when they're ever going to come out. So Maja case, I want to go with Maja case. I have a, a wall that it's, they're going to be on, but you can't, I ordered some and they won't be here until fourth quarter of 2021 and i'm like shouldn't a company that makes modu cases make them available whenever you want them mm -hmm. the, um, it, it's it weird to me good. that like it's a modular system right yeah but they're still doing made to order so it's like you order it then it's put in production i thought that they would have the units available like the whole idea about them being modular is i thought you can just you know buy one unit and it's in stock and you can send it but it's like it's still made to order, so I I think that the guy who owns it doesn't want to put the money in to just have the stock sitting there, which is just understandable. Weird, because in my opinion, he's losing like a lot of people I speak to. They're like, oh, I'd love to get Modu Case, but it takes too long to get here. Yeah, so I, I think he's losing more business than money he's saving by just not having I don't know fifty units or something. And then once they sell out, they do another 50. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I have to say that that was, that was a big thing for me because I'm like old and I could get hit by a bus <laughs> before my Maja cases show up. And it's like, I, I, you know, there was the most, the time you, you saw, there's a video on my uh, channel, the hot toys video that you watched yes. that I did for the hundredth episode of Collider heroes. And in terms of my collecting life in my adult life, the most, the most happy that I've ever been was when um, uh, I had that giant shelf, that display case opposite my desk. So I was always looking at it and I loved having that. I loved having that display and I want that again. And the Maja case thing is because when you have all the figures in one place, it's very inspiring. And uh, I, I just so Sideshow has a few of the DX 60s. Mm -hmm. that are they said they're going to come out in february or or march or okay. april now they i, I pre-ordered them and then i did pre-order three more because the the collector had three one dx 120s stacked mm -hmm. and and six three on either side i'm like that's that's the way i want to go i want to that i want that that display should probably get most of my figures and things i have like they'll fit my Batmobile and my Jazz Inc. Um, land speeder and just all all the stuff that I want to put in it. But how long do you have to wait? A long time. Too long. Too long. Yeah, it's, it's not. But the benefit point. is, the benefit is they're light at least, and they're modular. I don't know if that 
helps anyone with their purchasing decision. But I, the weight is literally the killer. I would have done it years ago if not for the weight. I've spoken to the owner, Brian, I'm pretty sure his name is. I've spoken to him a couple of times about collaborating. And every time I'm like, ah, I just can't do it because I don't know how many figures I'm going to have in, I don't know, six to eight months or whatever it is to ship from Singapore to Australia after you've made it all. Um, but I think it, I'll just get so many cases that it should be more than enough, hopefully. Well, what you can have them go in your room, you can go up another level. Like your shelves, you can have them go up another, which is, and what I love about Magic cases is they also make a base. So like there's a base with a drawer in each one. Yes. So I want to get those. And then they make risers for the insides because the DXs are really deep and you can get the risers and do multiple levels and, and they're you, you have choices of how you're gonna they're all they come with internal lighting and all that they're great. Yep. So yes, that's my plan is to have this be all in one, and then you'll see in the background will be figures, not just the studio setup. But anyway, that's like a long term goal, I know. obviously. <laughs> Me too. I'll I'll probably finish getting all my magic cases set up, my figures inside, then I'll do- drop dead. <laughs> You know, you have this obsession with just dropping dead. I know, right? <laughs> I, well, you know, it's you spend this stuff, don't you? Don't well, you you're going to be a pop star in the UK, and you're gonna you're gonna wind up being uh, you know, a non-issue for us. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be spinning and uh, you're gonna be in a beef a DJ and get up and perform, man. <laughs> I do know that um, the Modukase guy, the owner Brian, did a deal for um, uh, the gentleman who has been gifting me the the uh, Batman stuff. And uh, he said, hey, if I pay for them all in full, can you ship it quicker? And he said, yes. So uh, I don't know if those of you out there who are waiting for Magic Cases, if you want to message them and say, hey, if I pay for my invoice in full instead of the pre-order deposit, can you ship them sooner? He did that for him. So I don't know. How, can why we get your patron it. saint over there to buy us all Magic Cases so we can <laughs> and then pay him later, put him on, on the installment <laughs> plan? Maybe yeah, do that. About, about you, you ship now and we pay later. <laughs> oh, what about buying him in bulk? What about all three of us buying Magic cases and him? How Let's do it. Shipping be to the UK? That would be crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they've got warehouses in various countries. So the, yeah. Sing- the Singapore one comes here. I don't know where the one in the states is. Uh, I would imagine it- Sideshow so has think- this obsession with having all their stuff in North America. Like they don't want to drop ship. So. Technically, you're paying a, like extra for them to just ship it to themselves and then ship it to you. So I'm pretty sure sideshow ones will be at sideshows, you know. Where you know, it's in funny. The back. Um, Magic Case says they have they have uh, they have a, a web shop in Singapore, Malaysia, North America, the United States, and Canada, and Australia and the EU. Oh, so oh, it, oh, it's on their I website. That's the European Union. Yep. I mean, you're not part of it anymore, even though they've got the UK on the bottom there. But still, they can get it oh. too quick. What's yes. Website? Modukase.abc or XYZ or some weird thing. It's XYZ, isn't it? Yes. Modukase UK. Yeah, it's Modukase. Oh, By God. the way, they have, they, have an Africa, they have an Africa distributor oh. in South Africa in Symbiote uh, Premium Comics and Collectibles Excellent. in Johannesburg. Next time you see this stream, actually, sorry, in eight months' time, when you see this stream, we'll all have Modukase in the background. Yeah, and and we can all like you know have, well, have our little green setups. Screen or real, I don't care. There's going to be yeah. Modukases behind. <laughs> uh, but my Modukases are going to have more than than just hot toys. I think. I mean, I'm I'm oh. going to have to like. I mean, you've got other things. You don't just have hot toys, right, Justin? Yes, and- I um. You're wrong. Yeah, you're not wrong, right? Like, where's all this other random stuff gonna go? Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I would imagine I will also have to put other stuff in the module. I'll have like a little corner where other it'll just be like the random stuff, random other stuff corner. And <laughs> as stuff. as I mean, you could do a hell of a display. Like, if you had the module cases, would you would you set up your your streaming section differently? Yeah, I mean, if I got the modular cases, there would be um no pun intended, there'd be a good case to completely change the stream setup. Um, I currently have a, a like a really big, robust, L-shaped table. Uh, 
I would have to do something about the statues. Right. These the statues. I I love my statues. I love them. I love them. I have no idea why I fucking bought them. But they, they would fit. So they would fit in the DX Magic cases. They would. They would. They would. And that would be good because I could have it nice and secure in a corner where I can't break everything. <laughs> um, well, I I I brought I brought something I was going to show. Okay. Uh, so I have an affinity for Japanese die cast. Women. So have I. Of course. And, and uh, uh, the the most hideously expensive. Uh, Japanese die casts I have are from a company called Future. Okay. And um, they made my my favorite. Uh, th there is two series Go Nagai's Getter Robo, and then there is Getter Robo G. Now, I first encountered these in the United States. They were released in the mid 70s under the title Shogun Warriors. Now, Mm -hmm. I did not know at the time that it was from a Japanese TV show. I had no idea. They were poppy figures, later Bandai, that were repackaged as Shogun Warriors. But this company, Future... Uh, and so so in Ghetto Robo G, you have three vehicles that are piloted that combine. And depending on which order they combine, they turn into these robots that are piloted. No, I, I have three. I have the three, the three Getter Robos. I only brought two to show, but I figured. <clears throat> so, what's really cool with these diecasts, these future versions, they're again hideously expensive. So they came with little versions of the flying machines that combine. So this is like a a fighter, but these are done. They're not anime accurate. They're done in a very stylized. Uh, they're they're cool. Now this is the, the, in a the future version. So this is the the ship. Each robot comes with, or each super robot comes with the flying machine. Is a smaller sort of you can display it with the robot. So this, if anyone knows, if you're Shogun Warrior fans, this is what was released here as Poseidon. Oh, Ooh, that's beautiful. So, I mean, Hell this yeah. this bad boy, he comes with different legs. I mean, this is hot, hot, hot. And, of course, this stuff opens up. He's got missiles that he fires. Colors on him. Yeah, oh, no, man. I mean, I can't open. even begin to tell you how cool. Damn. And if you look, you can see the way Future did them. The way that the different ships, there's three different ships, so the the uh, the the uh, different ships combine depending on what order they combine in. So this is just, I can't even. First of all, I don't even want to tell you how expensive these ridiculous bad boys are, but these <laughs> are. When I saw these, to me, it's like it's like the end of the line. I never need any more Getter Robo G's. Now Bandai has made these as part of their. Their um, soul of Chigokin, yeah, soul of Chigokin line. But these future, I should have dusted the I'm sorry, I didn't dust the they've been on a shelf for a while. <laughs> um, but this is see. this is so badass. But let me just say, these this cost the price of two Hot Toys figures, yeah, and and they are no longer uh available. But I th again, I love Shogun Warriors. When I saw these, I'm like, oh my god, I have to. Have the that. line, the lines are so beautiful. Oh, it's, just, the, it's just such a the, the the shape. It's just there's something about it which is just so aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, uh, yeah. To look at it's it's crazy. And what's really cool is so so when you got this, it did come with the ship, and so the stand that the fighter comes on. It, so the way you display it is you kind of put them down like this. Because that's why it's like a half crescent. It's meant to go Genius. right next. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. So you can, you know, you can display it however you want. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so when you display it, 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 you know, it goes on the stand however you want to do it. And I thought that was pretty clever. And these, these are the engineering. They don't, they, it's not like, um, uh, uh, it doesn't transform a lot, but, these are really beautifully made and heavy duty. 
And then um, that's Poseidon. But everyone's going to know the next one, who's kind of the star. Um, mm-hmm. If there if there's such a thing as a uh, the Brad Pitt of super <laughs> robots. Uh, first of all, here is the fighter craft version. Nice of of this. And so and so depending, like when you watch the show, you know, depending on which they combine, depending on yeah, who's yeah. there. And I didn't get all three because I couldn't carry all three of them at once. <laughs> That's why the other ones, the other ones, uh, Getter Liger is up on the the shelf over there. But this is go go Liger. Go, this go. is Dragon. Oh. That's the boy. And here he is. That's the boy. This Ooh. this is uh I mean Damn. this is one beautiful chunk of Japanese die cast. And uh y- you know, it, it it doesn't get much better. And uh as somebody who loves Japanese super robots, to me, it doesn't get much better than these future versions of these characters. Oh, that's great. I know that is crazy. That is beautiful, and you can see. So, like, here's here's like when when uh, the it, whatever's on top is what it becomes. So here's Poseidon. So he's on the bottom now, and um, mm. you can tell that these are one, two, three. Those are the three different combining, and they combine into one. But um, these are just badass, and these are some of my favorite things that I own of all my collectibles, all my Japanese diecast. It don't get much better. Mm. So again, future. It's F E W T U R E, but I hate to say it. These are five hundred bucks each. Yeah, and um, I know <laughs> that was back when I was working steadily. Just so you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had these for probably what ten years now or something. But um, boy, do I love them! <laughs> so that's what I want to show today. That is pretty, pretty beautiful. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a thing. Oh. I got a thing. Um, last week, of course, we saw uh, this boy. The big boy. Which, last uh, week, of course, we saw that boy. Yeah, which oh, I yes. got in the mail I, right before the show started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get it out. Here he is. I haven't taken him out of the box, but we'll this open it later. Pre-order for a long time, long time, and suddenly it's arrived. Oh, the yeah. mythos, the mythos, Obi. Is it good? Obi. It's fucking great. I have it, one too. Okay, Be- someone is me. selling one locally uh, in Australia for um, two hundred and fifty Australian dollars, which is like five oh. US dollars. It's not yeah. really. Uh, but it's like, I don't know, hundred US dollar. It's I I cannot oh, recommend nice. it. I mean, I don't want to be an enabler. Buy this figure. Yeah, you do. Okay, go buy. Buy it. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. I'm tempted. I'm tempted by the because it comes with that backpack, right? Dude. And it's got the Clone Wars armor on it. So if Hot yes, Toys, but, for yeah. whatever reason, decide that they can't be bothered releasing the Clone Wars Obi Wan, <sighs> then I can at least take that armor and make my own Clone Wars Obi Wan. Because she tried to do something, yeah, um, yeah. Well, wait a minute. Don't doesn't Hot Toys? Didn't I get the Hot Toys Obi Wan with the armor and the what's that figure that I have? They um, they only like, made one Obi Wan so far, and it's the Episode Three, right? But um, the, what about the Obi Wan in the um, uh, the Stormtrooper armor? Oh, the side, yes, yeah, Sideshow made um, a back when they were doing this Star Wars figures, like early on, they made um, an episode two slash the animated, like the cell. Yeah, but it was with, it was in conjunction one. with Hot Toys. It was a combo yes. figure. Hot Toys made um, some of the armor and the weapons, I believe, on on the clones because most Sideshow clones have the Hot Toys logo on the box. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not a hundred percent known what exactly they made. But apparently, it was either the armor or the weapon. I don't know. It was one of the two armor or weapons. I have that figure. I have it yes. right. I didn't realize. I, 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 it's right over there. I like it. I mean, it's early. Obviously, it looks more like a sideshow figure, the face sculpt and stuff. But it's badass because he's in his stormtrooper armor and he's got yes. robes. Wow. He do. It's a beauty. Look. Dude, look at that. Come on. Look at this boy. It's- 
It looks pretty good. Look at that head sculpt. The thing is, it looks like a young Alec Guinness. Yes. He come does he come with two heads? I think someone said he comes with two. Is that true or no? Uh one. One, yeah. one, one head. Sculpt. Yeah, one head sculpt. I you can't tell you how great that the accessories are. It, it's a really, really, really good figure. That just looks like linen. You know? Tempting. You're tempting me. Come on, it's cheap, dude. You gotta get it. You're gonna love it. Because once you have them all cheap. when he has all kitted up. It, it, it's it's beefy. You you as can you well, show some of the accessories? I am just about to get out the backpack, and this thing is, yep, crazy. Yep, look at this for a backpack. Yeah, his his clone armor, his clone wars armor. So you've got the got a mini moisture evaporator thing there. Yeah, got a few gappy yeah. sticks. Uh, the bedroll is just. Crazy nice, crazy soft. Uh, belt accessory belt, which is going to go round as well. Strapping, it's really cool. On the other side, sorry, strapping there on the other side. Uh, it's come through, and obviously you can you can fit different things into uh, the the pouches and whatnot. That is. That's immense. You're tempting me with that. That torso piece easily comes off. These shoulder pieces easily come off. Come on, it, dude. It, it doesn't Call that out, guy up locally and out, get that figure. You know you want a, to. That is, if it doesn't come out, that is 100% um, a custom figure. And it would be easy to do as well, like just literally take those those armor pieces and what what's what else is on Obi Wan's armor? He's got a couple of um a clone wars a clone armor go gauntlets. Like, yeah, that's it, right? Like he's the rest of it's just robes. Yeah, it's just his his outfit with uh, these on top. One of the hmm. somebody in our chat, Brian Hepburn, says the body on it has nice joints, not too tight, and not way too loose like the Boba Fett. I have to uh, concur with that. The mythos Boba Fett has loose joints. I mean, once you stand him up, it's fine, but loose, loosey goosey on that body. I was I was very tempted by that mythos Boba as well. I'm a Boba is my man. Well, <laughs> ha, look at my shirt. Um, yes, I'm very tempted. Ooh, look at that rifle. Yeah, Some come people. on, dude. Look at that. What do you mean you're very tempted? Do it. Do I don't it. know. I've do just I haven't picked up anything from Sideshow in a while. So I don't know. I, I'm 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 cautious. Actually, that's a lie. I picked up a child. Um, if you get one figure, you're going to be happy with that uh, Obi Wan. Yeah, it's cool. I, I, of all the stuff, it's really good. I wish that came with a um, like a sandy display base, like the statue, like the Mythos Obi Wan statue had. Yeah, that would just be okay. Don't worry. There's hands and and stuff all over the place. You dropped it. Oh no. It's okay. No, no, not the thing, just the uh, hands, just the accessories. Oh, just the pieces. That's it's fine. The pieces which have flown everywhere and have probably hidden themselves oh. in various places. Then we've got the um the binos. Oh yes. That's Great a Star Wars it. classic. Yeah. It's not a Star Wars figure if it doesn't come with those. There we go. They're beautiful. And then an array. An array, which I'll do this way, of Lightsaber. Here. Oh, he's got Qui Gon's lightsaber. He's got Anakin's. Excellent. Oh yes. Woof. So Damn. yeah, got, got an array. Yeah, there's Qui Gon's. Let's get Qui Gon's out. I didn't know why. Oh, there you go. There he's got Qui Gon's. That to me is the nicest lightsaber. That to me looks like the most comfortable lightsaber. Oh, oh yes, it's, it's literally like Obi Wan's. If you try and if you try and like hold it and swirl that thing around, you be getting calluses on your hands. That's for yeah, sure. That. Why? Why are you doing that? Because you have it and I don't. So for those of you people who don't know, when you get a Hot Toys figure from like uh, Sideshow, which is their North American distributor, it comes in this kind of a box. Yes. And that is the outer box. And a lot of people, if you want to resell your Hot Toys figures, 
even keep these boxes. Oh, yes, um, yes, yes. You know, That's they're good. I mean, authenticity. Yeah, and also, they're just nice to ship in. So, this bad boy arrived today. Uh, you got yours first, because apparently you get things quicker. Uh, I was waiting I for this. The <laughs> you're, you're, you're the best. I mean... I am the bestest ever. Uh, so, if apparently, you, you know, I had to wait. And then put that on. Then we have Obi-Wan's life. So what's very interesting about Star Wars figures, they have, it doesn't matter what company, oh, that's cool. It doesn't matter what company makes them, they have a uniform box style, which is kind of interesting. Whether it's a size, Lucasfilm mandate. Yes, a Lucasfilm mandate. So um, I, as I pull this out, Hot Toys have been getting around it recently. Oh, not necessarily getting around it, but by adding those stupid banner things around the front. Yep. That's how they've been adding a little bit more uh, pizzazz to the box. Because it's a pretty boring box, like if you think about it. It's a pretty it, it bland is. box style. Now, I'm just going to tell everybody, I don't necessarily keep this plastic. I probably should. Since since we're on, on the live stream, I'm going to pretend like I do. Because, <laughs> you know, like, what am I going to do? Get rid of these things? So, and, and Justin, you were talking about the heavy Mando figure being a, like, here it is. This is the heavy Mando figure. I just got mine. As already has it out, but this is what the heavy Mando figure looks like. And this is what Justin was talking about. They add these banner, the banner here, which is, a, which is a fairly new addition over like the last two years, last year. Yep. A lot of the, the Phantom Menace figures have them. And now all the Mandalorian figures have them. But, um, so yeah, so here's the the Hot Toys box, and this is kind of this is the thing that you're talking about, Luke. Why do you think Lucasfilm did that? I mean, it's these so are cool. and still like to this day to still have to do it, and like Master Replicas, EFX. In fact, I'm pretty sure EFX still has to do it when they release helmets and whatnot. Like pretty much anything high end Star Wars has to come in that box art style with those two gray lines that come down and just the product in the middle. It's just, it's super weird that they mandated that and they haven't changed it. No, it's been like that since Hot Toys started releasing Star Wars figures. Yeah. Even back so, when Master Replicas was making lightsaber hilts, like they were still doing that. So here, here's the uh, insert of the Heavy Mando. Oh, yes. Imagine uh, if the box looked like that on the front. Well, yeah. I mean, why, why would yeah. you? <laughs> like, it's so... Yeah, I know. Not it's crazy. Dynamic. What they did with, um, I'm pretty sure it was Last Jedi figures, was they put the artwork on the back. So if you flip the box around, then you could have that, that piece of artwork on display. Or if you wanted the other side, it was just the clean side. I think that's quite a clever way of doing it. But then all the legal information was on the bottom. So that, I don't know, they, they didn't have enough room or to, I don't know why they did that. But yeah. I wish they would put the, do that again, put the artwork on the back. I do have to say what I do like about some of this packaging is I do like when Hot Toys puts these little inserts yes. in, like they, they figure out a really good way, like you really have to take this out, but it's pretty neat how they, well, as you've already got this out of the box, so I, yeah. I don't have to take this out, of, but, but uh, I do like, you've got the flames that come out of the flame. Yeah, there, there is the heavy Mando figure. Uh, there he's out of the box, but here he is in the box. This is what he comes like when you get him with his backpack. But you can see the accessories like the flames that you can put on his backpack. And so if you, if you snoozed on this, you're lost. Oh, yeah, yes. it's it's you're gone, lost. right? Yeah, this is this is gone. This is waitlist full. Yeah. And then when he appears in season three, everyone's gonna be looking for him once again because I assume he'll show up once again. He'll come up, yeah, he'll he'll reappear at some point almost guarantee it by the way this this figure uh gets me aroused this is a fantastic figure my lord sir i know it's it's amazing i had that i think in those kind of terms but i have to say <laughs> you know <laughs> i, was I keep thinking when, when justin brought up the word toyetic every time i <laughs> yes. hear the word toyetic i start sweating and i get flushed <laughs> i'm telling you there is something rather Oh, did you say earlier you collect Figma ads? Yes. I have uh, also recently begun the Figma collection. Oh, you have? 
Yes, unfortunately. I'm, I'm very wall. specific with it. It's not just collecting things. No, no, unfortunately for your marriage. Come on, it's a social experiment. Don't forget. <laughs> oh, it was, don't forget. Uh, we went to um, this store in town, this uh, Japanese store. That uh, sells, always um, dangerous. Of course. I'm, but I already I'm, researched it. I knew they had the figures. On the yes. floor. Okay. On the cake, nice and safe, where I can stop dropping it. <laughs> This is why I shouldn't buy statues. I keep... You stay there. And I'll... Don't fall over again. I'll pick Stupid everything thing. up at the end of the show. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, explain to me. I, I'm not up on these figures. What, 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 yes. what line are they? Um, so they do a bunch of different... Um, lines, but it's mostly Japanese uh, anime style stuff. Like they did um, Batman Ninja. They do um, okay, yeah, you know, yeah, a bunch Got of different it. stuff. Um, they're kind of like figure arts, but even a, a tad smaller in scale. But anyway, when we were going to this Japanese store, um, I'd already researched and I knew they had the figments that I wanted. Ooh. But I was playing this game with myself. I was like, I'm not going to buy them. I just, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to buy them. What's but I do want to go to the store just to have a look. Just to have a look. <laughs> you fool. That's like being in the red light district in Amsterdam. I'm just going to... And I walked look. in and I I'm saw them and I was like, I'm I'll take all of them. <laughs> Come on, did you really? <laughs> so how many is all of them? Four, five? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Good, good man. And then um, my wife, Steph, was standing next to me. And as they were Here calculating, it, it was like, they were $179 each. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they were calculating. Wow, and you them. took your wife. You are a brave man. <laughs> ah, I know. And she looked at me, and she was like, "Really, really? Yeah." And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Judgment. And I, was like, I can claim it on tax. It's fine. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. Uh, "Yeah, okay." That's what I always say. <laughs> Come on, honey. They're but, tax um, deductions. Taxes. Yeah, like, tax deductible. Come on. They are. I bought. Um, yeah, I bought the figmas, and I also bought one um, Revol Tech Amazing Yamaguchi. Figure, okay, which is Japanese. I like those. Uh, Japanese Revoltech and Revoltech, those are good figures. Uh, but I've recently been getting into uh, a new anime that um, I I always used to make fun of because I I, I was like oh, that seems so weird. Why would I watch that? Right. Oh, number seventy one. Now up to number seventy one in the. Oh chat. yes. Oh yes. <laughs> we are we are rising. We are rising. We are past Justin Bieber. Let's get this man to number one. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's like in Love Actually. Will Will uh, Uncle Bill hit number one for the Christmas song? He Christmas better. is well, I, all around us. This this was the this was the the um the most heart when I say heartbreaking. Um, it's uh, unbelievable. Uh, we were number two in the UK electronic iTunes charts. <laughs> But we couldn't we couldn't quite make it to number one. Damn. We number two for a period of time in Dude, the, the Trevor Horn remix will get you to number yeah, one. In the UK <laughs> iTunes electronic charts. <laughs> you gotta get all the subcategories <laughs> correct. <laughs> Come on, Trevor. Oh. Go on, I've seen you work with the Pet Shop Boys. It was amazing. Come on. Go. <laughs> What's he doing now, anyway? Come on, Trevor. Probably, yeah, you probably come out of retirement. Doing, yeah, you're producing or, or, or just doing stuff at home with your. Forget your... Nile Rogers. Nile Rogers will do it. Let's He's go. good too. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, Justin. I uh, I took you off your your your. It is your fine. Fork. It is fine. Um, so wait. So so I want to go yes. back to this. Your wife, like. You're dropping, you're yes. dropping, you're dropping like seven hundred dollars on these figures. Yes. Seven hundred Australian, yes. and she's like, "Really, really?" So, does this translate? Yeah. How? What's the ride home like? Like when you buy um, these figures and you put the you put the boxes in the car. Does yeah. she? Do you have to take her out to dinner and get her some wine afterwards, or do you go straight um, home because you want to open your figures? How's that going to work? <laughs> um. Look, I'd already agreed a couple of days before my wife has wanted a dog for years and we haven't had the space or the room in our apartment because we had a two-bedroom apartment to have a dog and i said it wouldn't be fair on the dog 
now that we have a house with a yard, she's been asking me nonstop. And like, she just send me like during the day, I'll just get randomly a picture of a dog. And I'm like, uh, okay. And she's like, it's available. And I was like, okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> anyway, finally, I was like, th- th- there was a dog available. She sent me the picture. I said, okay, let's get the dog. Because you obviously want this dog. Let's get this dog. So just a couple of days before, I'd agreed to purchase the dog. So when we went to the Japanese store and I bought the stuff and I was like, ah, don't forget, I just agreed to buy that dog. And she's like, ah, oh, okay. And then it was fine. Oh. Have you seen what dogs can do to action figures? I have, but it's a small dog and I have a door. So don't worry. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be closed. All right. It's just... It'll be- just make sure it is definitely closed. It will it will be. And not on the bottom level closed, of here. Not a jar. I love my dogs, but I don't want to tell you what happened to my quarter scale hot toys. I know you oh. you told me you told us. I can't believe it. But like, um like the loss yes. of a family member. It was awkward for like five minutes. Also, she wanted a bunch of Pokemon stuff, so I bought her um all the Pokemon stuff. Um so it was it was fine in the end, luckily. You say that now, but what she what she wasn't a fan of is um, that I commandeered the living room TV to watch my uh, anime because, like, she likes some anime stuff, but she finds the, the, this one that I'm watching. I'm watching My Hero Academia. Oh, okay. it's good. She finds it. I like. She finds my it weird. Hero. I love it. I just. Binge it's really good. Why does she find it weird? For, uh, she doesn't like the powers that they have, so it's kind of like um, for those in the chat who don't know, um, it's kind of like a Japanese version of X Men. Like yeah. it's a school with um, kids that have abilities, but like, I don't know, some of the abilities are a bit out there, I'll admit, but that's what makes it good, I think. Have you ever heard of an anime called Bible Black? Show her that. (laughs) Then again, perhaps not. (laughs) No, it's just very... If you're feeling like starting a family or something, (laughs) then show her that. It is is some really dark, uh, very explicit hentai, satanic. It's... uh, but you can get the whole series on DVD. <laughs> not that I would know. <laughs> not that you would know. Just, just of in course passing. not. Just in of passing. Course not. Even though I've never but, heard of it, but I have. Of course I have. Oh, look at that! Woo! I had to. My boy, All Might, my favorite character, even though he's only does like I don't know five things in the whole series. <sighs> It's, wow. uh, I've never. I haven't opened this yet because I'm waiting for two more to arrive. So they had, um, they had four figmas and then this guy, and I picked him up. But there are two more uh, figmas. Oh no, there's only one more that I'm waiting for uh, to arrive, and then I'll unbox these all on a stream. I think. Oh, nice! Ooh. You should do that. By the way, people are freaking out about Bible Black. Look, I was kidding. Oh, really? I was making a joke. <laughs> I understand. Black- I don't really want him to show his wife that. Until later in their relationship. But uh, just saying, you know, I was kidding. <laughs> I was kidding. I was like, no, no, no. What's so funny, all the people that are going, no, 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 they've all seen it. They know what oh. it is. <laughs> how do you know not to show? How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Mm-hmm. Pot calling the kettle black. Bible. <laughs> Don't show her. I mean, we've seen it. Rio Stu says, Bible Black is great. It is great. It's just for adults. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that under advisement. Yeah. I'll go on, I'll go on uh, safe it's search after this. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> look. Terrible. Oh. But yes, oh, that is man. my... Um, Let's get. Uh, I think this thing. is a good time to uh, segue into some super chats. Hey, <laughs> let's just let's just get off the hentai porn and, uh, <laughs> and and go on to uh, a couple of super chats. Right? It's not just hentai. Let us. <laughs> but, it, but the thing is, though, it's got it's got it, it's got a, an interesting story behind it. You know, she really does. No, it really does. It's hardcore horror. Mm. You know. Oh, okay. Then I'm out. I can't do horror. Oh. oh, it's it's oh. animated. Oh, come on. It's not, it's not, you know, it's like was it overfitting? Uh, uh, oh, I actually um, mm? I won't be reviewing the um the freaking Pennywise that Hot Toys are making. I've decided to <laughs> to use my 
discount that I get with Toys Wonderland and I will be having it sent to another YouTuber who does the horror stuff and he will be reviewing that on my behalf. But does it come... Oh, right. So you're not even going to get it. No, I don't. I you, literally... Are you that clown phobic? Not really. It just, it's, it's become a thing now. Like I saw it at the convention and then I was, I said like, I, I will never get, like if they make this, I will never get this because I just hate, um, I, I just hate the idea of having this creepy thing in my house. And then they made it. I was like, oh, God damn it. Now I have to either get it and be touching up on this creepy clown or I not get it. And then people are like, why aren't you getting it? And then there's a thing. So uh, anyway, I decided not to get it. It's yeah, we'll see. But no, but we'll see. Um, uh, it's, yes. actual, it's actual condition, though, isn't it? It's a condition to be frightened of clowns. It is. Probably. Can I just, I can I just say, can I just say somebody in the chat says his name, Kissen, says, next time, R&B, go for something more softcore like prison school. I've never. Uh, not, I don't know what that I don't is. know it. I just love that comment. That's my com the comment of the day. But when Something it, when more soft core. It, it sounds like that's you know. Okay. <laughs> now uh, everyone's gonna hate me. Terry sixty two with a ten pound super chat. Hi. This show needs to have a warning stating bad for your wallet, meaning the vampirella figure that Rob made me buy. He made. Me buy. <laughs> <laughs> Also had to pre-order the Ymir and Beast from 20,000 Fathoms figures. I used to play Ymir on Smite. I used to love playing Ymir. But that's completely different. That's video game stuff. Uh, waiting for the no Nerd Rodics. Oh my goodness. This is a long one. Waiting for Nerd Rodics internet connection. Uh, with a two pound super chat, Hot Toys makes a Snyder Cut dark side, then take my dollar dollar. Oh, how great would that be? I don't think I can see that. I can't see it happening. No, I can't I know. see it happening. The, or, um, see a third party having a crack, though. If anyone was to make it, the crazy people from Toy Zero would probably like they made Juggernaut, and that thing yeah. is like, yeah, yeah, huge. So if anyone was going to make it, I would put money on them. Um, but I don't know. It's going to require so much new sculpting, like an all new body. And the paint applications on that thing would have to be insane. Like he's got that cracked, you know, weird gray yeah, yeah, skin yeah. texture. Uh, I, I really hope that Toy Zero are like, you know what? Stuff it. We'll do two versions, one with the armor and one without, like McFarlane doing. Um, but I don't think, I don't think it will. God, I would love to get that though. Oh, I, I, and a Steppenwolf, yeah. Maybe, but you cut yourself on that thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. How do you do that armor? I don't even know how you. Oh, do that either armor. way, don't hug uh, it. Today, I forgot to say. Today is Zack Snyder's Justice League Day here in Australia yeah. because we get to watch it at six p.m. I'm so excited. Six p.m. your time? Yes. So, well, you're seven hours. Oh no, you're because we have daylight saving time. So. You're the next day, but you're yes. seven hour. We're seven hours ahead of you. Yes, I think so. Say, I think it's the same time. It, yeah, yeah, I think you. I think you. I think yeah. I think it will. Um, but I'm really nine a.m. for us here. Uh, midnight for I, you over the. Uh, yeah, nine a.m. I did speak to uh, Warner Brothers about watching it early. Um, so a couple of Australian YouTubers have already seen it. Um, right. And, you know, channels are around the same size as, as mine. Um, so I thought, hey, if they've seen it, let me send them an email. So I sent Warner Brothers an email. And um, curiously, they replied asking what my full name was. I was like, oh, that's a bit weird. They said, we've noted your request for um, an, an early screening of uh, Justice League. Uh, please let us know what your full name is. So I let them know my full name. And then after that, I didn't ever, I didn't get a response. Um, so maybe they discovered that I'd reviewed that Zack Snyder's uh, the, the Justice, Justice Mobile. Mobile, yeah. And Warner Brothers Legal contacted me and told me to take it down. Oh, <laughs> So yeah. maybe yeah. they were like, in their internal system, oh, influencers, Justin Kane. Oh, we've uh, contacted him. Uh, our legal department has said, take down a video. We don't want to be working with this idiot. You know, um, it's really, uh, but you know, <laughs> all you're doing is promoting. I mean, you were promoting. I know. The, I know. It, it, it's such a strange... I, I, if I think they don't that, want me reviewing it, then just make one. 
Like right, right. Make and they're not going to. No. And by the way, they should look at that. They should look at things like like I think that everything that Jazz Inc is doing the Lord's work, and and I say that with great respect. And all that all they are doing should be looked upon as marketing for the franchises that they're. And I'm not saying, look, I get it. People pay licensing fees and all that. I'm sure they would do it, you know, but they're, yeah. they're like a father and son making cool shit for collectors. Yeah. And there's no economic model that makes what they do viable as a commercial enterprise. If That's hot toys made one. I'm pretty sure people would still buy the official. Like whenever there's a third party offering and then an official comes out, like I'm talking um, anything really, like even one six scale figures, even Transformers masterpiece figures. Yeah. When there's a third party, but then the official comes out, you'll find that 95% of the people who bought the third party will buy the official because yeah. they want that official thing. And the Hot Toys Batmobile, not that they're ever going to make it, but if they did... The video that they released a couple of years ago showcasing it had a mechanical rotating turret that moved up and down and rotated, and you could change the stance of the Batmobile via remote, and the cockpit doors actually opened via remote as well, and they could close, and it had, you know, all this extra stuff that the Jazz Inc. one can't do. So it's not like they're, they're, the, the Jazz Inc. one, would that would be it, and nobody would ever buy a 1.6 scale Batmobile ever again. Right. Like, so it, I don't understand um, either, like, make your own one or uh, I, I don't know. Then again, I don't work in the Warner Brothers legal department. And apparently they're quite ferocious over there. Well, right. I, I heard from Jazz Inc. today. Oh. And they said, uh, can we have some money? Uh, I, you know what? It's funny you say that. It's funny you say that. I got, I got and you a, said, I, of course. I got a message from them today as well. Uh, of course, sir. Same thing. Uh, an invoice. I have four payments left. Two Ooh. for the Justice Mobile, two for the computer, and that is. I might put my Justice Mobile up there somewhere. Maybe it's a I crime should. that it's not here. Honestly, dude, that thing is so badass. I don't know if I have space. I've got the tumbler there, and I've got the bat here. So I don't know if I've got space for the Justice Mobile and the '89 Batmobile. I don't know, because the 89 Batmobile is a long boy. Dude, like, that is a big boy. I got it over there. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. And what do you do yeah. with the shield? Uh, I usually just throw it in the storage unit. Um, yeah. That's where it is now. Um, I have the Lego 89 Batmobile up there at the moment, and that thing is a beauty, but I don't know if I can fit two more one six scale vehicles up there, especially no. those two specific ones. They are very big. Very, I, I, very uh, long. I mean, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to bust on the Batwing from the Zack Snyder's Batwing? Oh, I, look. I, I don't know. Come on, guys. Come on. You know you want to. I, I don't know. This is killing me. That's, that is killing me. So, if it was I, super I, I, lightweight. I, I, then... I text Gary to say. Well, that's the thing. How do you lift? How do you? That stuff's so heavy. I need. Like, how I do you need, lift I think it? I need a new place. And I'm not being facetious either. I think I would have to have a bigger apartment. I mean, I've got a small terraced Yorkshire house. You know, terrace houses that were built um, 120 years ago for to going into mill. You know, so it's one of those really uh, small terrace houses that you see in Warburton's adverts and stuff like that uh, from a kid. Um, that thing is massive. I want it. I want it inside of me, uh, but I need to have the room. I, I mean, I I, I think it's a, actually a very nice. Um, it's very cool. A very nice Batwing uh, version. Oh, of yes. That. Um, and uh, to even consider that Jazz Inc. Are, are, are proposing it, again, I could do it on a payment structure because it's probably going to be a while because they are, you know, on oh, yes. with so much at the moment. So it's probably going to be on a while. <sighs> But they're also doing a, a, a one in six Batwing from 1989. Yes, that thing's going to be huge too. Oh, that, I, I, yeah, they just they need to get it. It needs to be lighter. It, the heaviness. It, it. It. I understand. Like whenever I speak to Yost, the owner of Jazz Inc, he's like, "Oh, you can feel the quality. It's super heavy." 
And before I actually received it, I was like, oh yeah, that I can imagine that'd be awesome. But having the hot toys tumbler that I can literally lift with one hand, that's how light it is. Wow. It's like, that is the way that it needs to be. Cause you can wall mount, like you could even wall mount this tumbler if you wanted to. That's how light it is. You just, but you couldn't wall mount that justice mobile. You bring the wall down. Like, well, I would. <laughs> yeah. If I got the, if I got the just, if I got, sorry, if I got the uh, bat wing, Yes. Um, I would need to try and set up a, a diorama of a bat cave. Yes. Because I would have the Justice Mobile, the bat computer. You could you potentially use a modular system to yes. create the bat cave, the part that he's you got. Could. Yeah. So you could use that to, to potentially create that. And you need the running water as well, of course. Yeah. So it'd be yeah. it'd be a matter of yeah, God, oh my lord! <laughs> uh, do, uh, the wings would have to fold up because in BVS, when when mm. it's off to the side in the back cave, the wings are are vertical. Yeah, uh, because even even Batman doesn't have room to display his bat wing. No, and <laughs> he's a say, billionaire. He's a billionaire for God's sake. I have to say, yes. I finally, I finally put together my Millennium Falcon cargo hold. Hey. And uh, Elizabeth has been shooting. She's going to the art center in Pasadena, which is one of the most prestigious art colleges in the United States. And she's making stop motion animation films for a class. And I told her, I said, look, let me, let me set this up for you. So she could actually make stuff. And it's, it's all, first of all, it's awesome. I mean, it looks oh, great. Yes. And I had never plugged it. I put batteries in it and it does have LEDs in the back and lights up. It's really it's really cool. And and while it is third party and it is, you know, even even the the photographs they have like in the bunk that you put the they it comes with a picture that you insert and just tape it in. It looks great and it looks great on camera and now they have the other side of it. You know, they're making the rest of the cargo bay. Like I'm thinking, well, yes, does this yes, whole thing are. could this whole thing fit in a Maju case? Like I'm like one of the, you know, the 120s. I don't know how deep it is but I'm, I'm looking at this thing and i'm like i i have not pulled the trigger on the oh, other half of the cargo bay hi. but i think i'm gonna because man it's cool to have these jazz inks environments and i by the way i did i'll admit this to you guys i am paying for the gantry the bespin <laughs> gantry where luke and uh, i do have the hot toys bespin luke so hey, I got both excellent. figures. I got both figures. I got multiple Vaders. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm. I, I did it. I had to get so for P the, Jazz Inc. makes the gantry where Vader, you are beaten. You know, <laughs> together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. Father and son. I mean, I'm gonna mount that shit on the wall, uh, man. <laughs> Come on. I'd be I'd be disappointed if you didn't. And <laughs> if you get the land speeder, you've got to get the moisture evaporators that they're making too. You know, the individual because yes. yeah. they have to go in your module case display. And it's like, come on, bro. You gotta get and then all you need that a one six scale desert to go That's along right. with like, Gary. <laughs> well, I live in California. Me. I just let all my I let all the plants die <laughs> and you got a desert. It's fine. But yeah. Wait, sorry, just addressing chat. Gary. I've texted you. You're muted because your chat has come in here to ask me to text you to tell me to tell you you're muted on your stream. Okay. He, he, <laughs> it, it, by the way, I just want to point out that Gary uh, Gary Beekler from Nerdrotic did send you a super chat, which is in fact the answer to life, life, the universe, and everything. And everything. Mm. Hitchhiker's so, Guide to the Galaxy, baby. You know, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but he was still muted for the last five minutes of his stream. Was he really? Yeah, I had. If I was, I was reading the chat, there were people coming in saying, "As can you text Gary and tell him he's muted, please?" <laughs> so I actually text Gary and said, "You're muted." Well, we don't want him to produce the twelve-inch of Ocean Man, then. No, <laughs> it'd be five minutes of silence. <laughs> but hey, I can't take the piss. Because I recorded the, my Batwoman review, which was 35 minutes long oh. on Monday. And my microphone, for some reason, because we just did a Windows update the day before, had decided <sighs> to reset itself Oh, and wasn't working. So I had to record the whole damn thing 
again. God damn it. Windows. This is why you don't use a Windows machine. Come on, man. I'm not PC. I'm I'm the Mac, yo. Oh, yes. Me too. As. Go and upgrade your... Go and upgrade to a Mac. Maybe. Come on. Apple is... Come. No. (gasps) No. Then they are. They used to be the heroes, and now they're an the apple a day keeps the doctor away. As come on, I'm oh yes. That. By the way, I know, I know. But I've just seen on uh, uh, Jazz Inc. that um, mm-hmm. they're kind of doing last chance on the uh, Justice Vehicle diorama base. I got, I got to pick it up. You got to pick it up. It. It's worth it. I got. Uh, yeah, you said yeah. it because it's two sided, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, one side is the um, hanger from. Uh, they call it the flying fox, right? Um, yeah. The, the hangar, and the other, the other side is like a road thing. Yeah. Just a road. Gary <sighs> is not a fan of Mac. No. I saw that. I saw that. Mac fuck. It fucked poopy panel. If it wasn't uh, for Apple, my channel would not exist because I use my iPhone to film and I edit on my iPad. Yeah, well, there you go. I mean, and, and I too, I, I where you're seeing me, I, I've edited... Eight episodes of the upcoming Dota Dragon's Blood Ooh. for Netflix, which drops next hey. week. Uh, there you go. Check that out. Yeah. And by the way, look through the end credits. There's a lot of credits, but I haven't. My name is prominent in the end credits. You can see it. <laughs> hey, excellent. And Tango Shalom, you can see. And I, I stream right out of this Award computer. Award winning. Award winning. Yes. Tango Shalom. Tango Shalom is now award. It, it won awards in Jaipur, India. It was not. We didn't win in Turkey. And we uh, won in Canada. They love us. In- Commonwealth countries love Tango Shalom. Woo! So, you know. The Commonwealth. I know, right? I was thinking about getting Harry and Meghan to give me an intro to the Queen. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn it. Meghan will probably go <laughs> on to Oprah and say how refreshed she was because you asked her to do something. And like this guy said, can you like go and watch this film? I felt so <laughs> personally. Look, man, I just want to be able to order from Amazon UK and get my stuff delivered so they don't cancel it. That's all I want. That You know, it used to happen for 20 years I ordered from Amazon UK. Mm-hmm. Now I order from Amazon UK. Uh, they tell me they've shipped my order. Mm-hmm. And then I get a note saying, uh, sorry, we have no idea when this is going to be available. I'm like, wait, uh, uh, you shipped it to me and took my money. Mm. Uh, come on, man. With my money, there's a, bitch. There's a lot of UK companies like Second Sight. Which I love, like Arrow, which I love. But what if I buy one of their products from Amazon UK? They've let me down. They didn't used to. If I didn't have the lovely Did Emma I... Bannon in the UK watching out for me, oh, I, I would not say, have the 4K uh, version of Demons and Demons 2. I was going to say, just buy it, ship it to me, or ship it to you. You know what? I'm going to have to do that from now on. We, Although the um, lovely Emma Bannon, you know. Well, I, I mean, lovely, she's, she's you know. pretty, prettier than I am. I'll tell you that. We never actually had Amazon until like a year ago. Can you imagine that? Like, I know people no, I in the US like are obsessed with Amazon, but we, yeah, we never even, we never even had it. So we're like, oh, okay. And anyway, now we've got it. I, I ordered a few things from them, and they always use this horrible, dodgy courier company. Who yesterday, um, actually two days ago, the item was loaded on for delivery at three p.m. Just didn't come, and then the <laughs> next day when I message the courier company, because they don't, when you call them, they're like, we can't help you on the phone now. So you have to message us. It's a COVID thing. Because apparently you can catch COVID over the phone. Anyway. <laughs> um, Didn't you know that? Mess- Come on, man. <laughs> I message the chat. A couple of hours later, I get a reply saying, your item is on board for delivery. This ticket is now closed. And then that was it. And then I message back like, wait, wait, wait. It was on board yesterday. So is it coming today? And then it was like, please type chat if you would like to start a live chat. So I restarted the live chat and then I was like, hey, can you please find out where this thing is? I quickly wrote it in time before the guy closed the ticket and he was like, yes, it's coming today. Anyway, the guy randomly sometime during the day put my item in the next door neighbor's letterbox and then marked it as delivered. And luckily, Amazon sent a, uh, put a little picture of where it was and mm. I was able to see, oh, this idiot put it in next door's letterbox. I went outside, oh. grabbed it. And it would, but if I hadn't seen that, then I would have my item would have been gone because I assumed next door neighbor would have loved to have kept my McFarlane toys, my Hero Academia seven inch 
action figure because who wouldn't? Uh, you know what? We're gonna do that. I would have kept it if if I lived next to you. I I would have kept your My Hero Academia. I would have been like <laughs> Justin. Had, Justin has enough figures. Damn it! I probably would have thought. God, damn him. him. I probably would have just gone. I, have, oh, um, I must have pre-ordered this ages ago. I might, yeah, I must have. I must have. I have um, the third-party Superman coming in. Hopefully, either tomorrow or Monday. That oh, that wow. third-party version of this Superman. Yeah. Um, it looks pretty good actually for a third-party offering. But I want one that I can pose the heck out of. Like, I don't want to destroy this. Right. The suit is right. Very it's, delicate. It's beautiful though. It's a beautiful yes. figure. It is very delicate. I don't want to destroy it, but I want to have him posed. You know, in BVS, when he comes down to the bunker and he lands, yeah. and he's like looking down. I want to have Superman pose like that. And I've got a wired cape. So I'm going to put the wired cape on, have the cape flaring out. And I want to have him posed sort of landing. Um, so anyway, long story short, it's coming tomorrow. That's so, so that's that, that was a heck of an answer to your question of uh, hot toys make us dark side then take my money. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trekker 58 with 20 Australian. Uh, oh. hey, I just tried to purchase food king scissoring on Spotify, but I already have spot it, uh, I already have the Spotify app, so I just went straight to my songs. So take some of this for the charity man you Rock star. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that we knew you when. We well, streamed before you, know, you were a pop star. Yeah, it's you know, there's gonna come a time soon where I, I'm I'm my work here is done, I must leave to my <laughs> my planet in a hell type of business. <laughs> uh Mark Arsenal with a tank Canadian soul of uh here you go, Cho Chagokin. Chijo Chikokin. Chikokin. Uh, Grendizer. 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 Grendizer arrived last week. Uh SOC. That's much better for me. Uh oh, Yamato yes. uh came today. And SOG uh Arcadia is shipping. Love oh. you guys. Oh. Oh. My okay, I got my yeah. SOC Arcadia over there. Let me tell you. That is Captain Harlock's spaceship. Yeah, and it is well, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say what kind of thoughts it instills <laughs> in me, but let me just say it's got a lot of big guns on the hull. That's what I'm saying. No, but it's <laughs> it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, beautiful. I don't know which version you got, the new one, the TV series version or the movie version, but it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, you will be very, very, very happy. You gotta be happy with the big gun. Uh, Mega reacts with a five dollar. Anyone else want a Red Miller, Nick Cage's character from Mandy, hot toy? It'd be so dope. I don't know how toyotic, toyetic it would be, but I would buy that. <laughs> I mean, the guy's got something for. Keanu Reeves. I mean, especially if you had, if you had the blood splattered face and axes and shit. But I just Justin wouldn't buy it because it's uh, horror. What was his 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 latest film? The Wonderland, William Wonderland. Or oh something. yeah, uh, yeah. I watched the, I watched oh, the review my. of it. it uh, is there, I might 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 pass on that. Might just pass on that one. Kind of looks like uh, this film has been sponsored by uh, Nick Cage getting a payday. Uh, <laughs> Kyrin or yeah, Kyrin, Kyrin with a twenty dollars super chat. Oh, here we go. We're getting told. We can just get told off in super chats. My wife is upset with as and oh Ron no, because I just got the Vampirella and I also got the Ninja Batman off eBay for a good price. Oh, the it's, Star Race Ninja Batman is it? Mm, it's Siren Zero One. Well, I mean, your wife shouldn't be upset. Your wife should look at that figure and have something designed that's equally awesome with the cape and just put it on and you'll forget all about the figure. Then I get a hobby. Everyone collects something, right? Whether it's spoons or stamps or shoes or handbags. Everyone, even if they don't know it, they collect something. And we just happen to collect 12-inch men. And women. So <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, 
you know, this figure <laughs> well, right here. I can like understand. I, I gotta, I gotta think about things in life now. <laughs> uh, Bobby, so with, yes, oh, sorry, with a five pound, uh, watching the hottest boys while building the Lego UCS Millennium Falcon. You guys oh. have inspired me to get end game cash. Oh yes, you're the devil on my shoulder. Saying, yes, that's right. But oh yes, you know it. You to. Just, We're not... just click the button. Click yeah, the just button. make it happen. Do it. <laughs> Do it now. You won't regret it. Your wife will love it. Zack Snyder's <laughs> is here. No one thought that it would ever happen. So you yeah. can make it happen for yourself. <laughs> yeah. This has now become an ASMR channel. You've earned this. Chloe Fanning with a five dollar. That was the, by the way, that SMS ASMR, that ASMR was for free on the house. It was for free. First one's always free. Uh, Chloe Fanning for a five dollar. Is there a company that would make a hot toy figure of a movie or comic character upon request if the figure oh, yes. has not been made prior? Uh, there that would be very plenty, expensive, but it will cost you a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. And it's there really is a guy sculpt, really, isn't it? There is a guy who um, has made a, a custom Dark Knight Returns Batman, both the black suit and the blue suit version, and he put it on an M thirty five Fison body, which is huge, huge. And I'm like, I huge. need this. It looks so good. Um, Can you get an image? Very, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I would be remiss if I didn't. So now we're talking about the custom figures. My girlfriend, Elizabeth, who is a, a, a very successful mother, and she's going to art school. You know, she's second, she's gone back to, she wants one thing in life, aside from a house and a new BMW. Oh, she wants a figure, a beautiful Hot Toys figure of Sean Connery mm. as Zed from mm -hmm. John Borman's science fiction epic 1974 science fiction epic Zardoz. So if anybody out there is watching this show and is a great custom figure creator, I mean, barring a, a wedding ring, the one thing I could give her that would make her the most happy would be a figure of Sean Connery as Zed from Zardoz. Does she want rooted oh, yeah. chest? Well, that's the thing. I, I, okay. I. It doesn't have to have rooted hair. I, I would prefer sculpted hair, although that's tough okay. to do. I get it. But if anyone can help me out, really, that's all I'm looking for. You can see the Zardoz stone head right there above me. Actually, I can grab it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You can. Oh, my uh, God. here it is. The Zardoz stone head, and uh, as the head says in the movie. The gun is good. The penis is evil. Because they don't want people to reproduce. So here you go. Here it is. If you can find me a Zed, make me a Zed. There you go. Oh, Justin's gone. I am off a frame. <laughs> Justin, Justin vanished. Justin, he was like, I can't deal with it. Yeah, I can't handle this. I'm out. This is too, this is, this is. Not that was his wife enough. coming, and the, apparently the social experiment has ended. Yeah. <laughs> it's over. Over. It's, it's over. Over. We've tried like this. Like Aha said, over. I, I've been lenient with you. I've given it space, but now it's over. Okay, these aging man children are not good for you, Justin. It's yeah, time to get off the channel. Cable just got yanked out the back. Done. Boom. Sorry oh. about that. It wasn't your wife then? You're yeah. okay? No. Okay, good. You're still... Okay, good. We thought for sure your marriage was over. Yeah. And you're done with us forever. Yeah. <laughs> and you were selling your hot toys. And that's that it. it. That's a wrap. Yeah. yeah. Can, by the way, can yeah. I ask you? You got to have a prenup that it, that makes oh. sure you're... Oh, look. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Oh, that's yes. Amazing. I know. Wait, there's a black one, too. There he oh. is. Uh, uh, I oh know. Okay. okay, what what does that cost? Uh, five. Uh, no, six hundred US dollars. Sold. Sold. There's a picture. Here we go of the head sculpts in progress. <gasps> oh my God, 
Azrael. Wait, is that Azrael? Is that yes. Azrael? Don't. That, oh my god. That is the McFarlane Azrael that he has oh. repainted. Unfortunately, not oh. one six scale. I know. That. Shouldn't the um, blue. I'm not, I know I'm being pedantic. I'm sorry. Shouldn't the blue have leg strap pouch as well? Uh, y yes. Maybe. Should it? He does put a leg, a leg pouch on him, thigh pouch on him as well. That's this is the uh, Mafex version, um, and oh. he is Son's leg pouch. Yeah, um, yeah. it he has been a be, while it, since it was, I... it was a specific part in it, and so you can kind of get it with it, I suppose, and get it. That I, I, I need, need, I need it. that. I need Bro, that. Bro, that is that is some dopeness right there. That is that insanity. is. One of the most beautiful things that I think I've ever seen in one six scale. Yes, honestly. Yep. Yes. Oh, wow. I need. I need it. Yeah. God. So yes, there are custom people who make stuff like this that no official company has made, um, but they will cost you plenty of yeah. money. So you know, now you've just given me a, a, a the song "Common People." I like common people. Now we have to do a song. The three of us should sing it. Custom people, <laughs> all about all about one six scale custom figure makers, and we can we can just it'll be a litany. We'll do it electronic style, like we'll get Az's producer to uh, have us sing. And, There's this uh, guy called. Here we go. I'm not sure if you've seen him. Toy Man Zhao, but he makes um like Toy Story characters. Oh my in God. one six scale. Oh, damn. Yes. Oh. But he also makes. Oh. He also makes realistic versions of the characters. Oh. So there's his oh. Woody. Wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, and this is my favorite. Mr. Incredible on a bison oh. body. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah. Goodness. That's inc that is incredible. Let me see if there is a close up of that head sculpt because it is pretty impressive. Is this Here's another one. Is this a he or a she that does this? Wow. Uh, it's a he? It's a he. As you can't ask that question nowadays. Well, yeah, I mean, does it really matter if it's he or she if the figure's good? That is look at that. That's incredible. amazing. Incredible. Yeah. I mean no, I, uh, no pun intended. There's also um he also made Stuart Little, um, which oh, <laughs> I don't know a if few times. Yeah, that. <laughs> uh if there's here we go in his little card. See he, he so he does full on boxed releases, so this is his Jeez. Stuart Little one six scale figure. Wow, Rob, that's um, great. Rob, you know what I'm thinking. I I'm not sure, but I'm a, I, I'm. <laughs> I'm, thinking? I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking we 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 approach, and we There's say, his... can can you do uh, a limited run for us of a character we're calling as the, the locked up the locked up man, <laughs> aka the prisoner. <laughs> Oh my God! I, you know what? If we oh pool our, if we if we pool our resources, <laughs> uh, that's a great idea. That is a great idea. But then I need this work is is beautiful, amazing. Does he take it commissions? Is insane. Uh, I'm not sure, but these people do three five seven apartment. They're called, um, but they do. A lot of repaints. So each day, you can see they've got their little consultation days. But they mm -hmm. um, take older stuff and they repaint it oh, mostly. Wow. Um, this is a good example. So this is the um, the half scale Henry Cavill. What? By the way, might I just say that that was a very interesting skin tone for Henry Cavill. But they do repaint. Yeah. Look at the result. The, it's amazing. That's a um, that is unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable. Look at that. I'll try and find uh yeah, this one is pretty the good. Sherlock. The Sherlock. The Sherlock. Look at the Brad Pitt from uh oh, yes. from Glorious Look Passage. Wow, Jimmy. that's amazing. Yes. That's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. And I these mean, people are actually one of the below. Oh, sorry, I'm just I'm I've lost it. I've completely fanboyed. I've gone. These wow. these people are actually Look um the me. more affordable range for head sculpt repaints. 
Wow. That was mad. Look at that Anthony Hopkins. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Oh. That's pretty damn good, oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, yes. Mm. This is fun. I should show you third-party uh, people. More. Oh, my God. Tom Hanks from uh, Saving Private Ryan. Look at this. Yeah, you have to excuse me for just a bit. I'll be, I'll be, yeah, I, 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 mean, I mean, I mean this. I don't mean this in a weird, crazy way. I just, I'm gonna step out for just a second. <laughs> just gonna get the lotion. I wonder who sculpted this, Natalie Portman. Padme, God, sculpted by. Okay, so it was sculpted by. Uh, they tell you who the sculptor was, but yeah, very impressive work. Yes, very impressive. Oh, I just noticed the Anne Hathaway. And this is the if this is the Hot Toys Catwoman head sculpt, but that looks so much better. <gasps> wow! 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 This is nuts! <laughs> nuts! Yeah, yeah. These people. Um, if I was to have anything repainted, I'd probably go to them. I would say. Very, very <sighs> impressive. Look at that, Connery. Sean Connery. Is that the right. sideshow? No, I'm not sure. Yes, this is the sideshow head sculpt, potentially. Oh. With the hat from Indiana Jones. Jeez, Louise. I, c I could literally browse this all day. I know. There are, like, literally thousands of images of all different scales. Like, look at the Wilson Fisk. <laughs> it looks real. This is in this is crazy. Yes. They even did a Conan for some reason. <laughs> McAvoy. So yes, brain. this Never one was pretty brain. good. They repainted an entire Fison body to be the Ghost Spider from the PS4 uh, game. <laughs> Wow. I just, I, I, <laughs> yeah, there's so many I, to look I, I, at. I, 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 no, yeah. Unbelievable. Yep. So if anyone's looking for a 1-6 scale head sculpt repaint, say you've got an old head sculpt and you want to give it a bit of, um, you know, Bit of a, a oh, refresh. So oh, look good. at the Indiana Jones. Oh, vey. That is the best. Oh, my God. That's the best Harrison Ford I've ever seen. That is beautiful. That is without doubt, the best Harrison Ford I've ever seen. Notoriously hard to capture in 1-6 scale, um, but the paint applications on that head are sensational. Even the, <laughs> even the Star Race um, uh, Hermione head wow. sculpt has been saved. With the that is a literal save. That is a saved. <laughs> that is a Bob Ross save. <laughs> Scream out there! Gee, I, I, I gotta, I gotta stop. Otherwise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna... I don't blame you. I um. I, I've always sure. wanted an Iron Man 1 Tony Stark because Hot Toys, um, they didn't really do this style. So I'm hoping one day they give us this style of Tony Stark head sculpt because yeah. they've only given us kind of, you know, the Iron Man 2-esque style yes. Tony. Yeah, um, I mean, they the mechanic. Uh, oh, yes. To have a, you know, a, 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 an Iron Man Tony Stark. Yes, the mech um, test, um, the mech test one that's hopefully coming out. I don't, surely that's coming out soon. It was announced when? I think it's coming June. out next year. I think it's late. I think it's like either late this year or oh, next year. God damn it, Hot Toys! Um, Stop me, releasing yeah. stuff so late. Actually, just release something because it's been four weeks since they've released anything. So it would be nice if they yeah, did anything. January to March, twenty twenty two. God, damn mechanic. It. Right, I'm gonna. I, 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 I'm gonna have to go through. Kill some it. Uh, we, I've, Kill I'm it. lost. I've got lost in the. 
in the beauty. I've got I know, there's too beauty. much. There is too much. Actually, there's one more I need to show you. One okay. more. Okay, okay, I'm up for one more. There's Chloe. One more. There you go. There's your, <laughs> there's your answer. There's your answer, love. Oh, yeah, I got to do the thing. Activate me. Oh, good grief. That is the best oh. one six scale carry fisher that I have ever seen. They are so good. Look at that. And that's the Hot Toys sculpt. It's literally just paint. Just so, paint, yeah. But, but it's all about the texture. It's all about the, the shadow. Oh, my Lord. I want to get my um, Princess Leia repainted after seeing this. Oh, uh, I want to get everything painted. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get painted after this. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, Tyler Maudlin with a $5. All three of you are the best. And I wonder if oh. Robert was ever into Toy Fair magazine here in the States. Robert's gone for a wank. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gone for a Tommy tank. So, so you know, lotion tank. I found something. I found oh. something. Go on then. Do you uh, want to see something Snyder Cut related? I'm sorry, everyone, for commandeering. Keep commandeering the screen. But I keep finding <laughs> no, my Instagram. Fine. My Instagram is mostly... Um, I mostly follow uh, Hot Toys official sculptors and, like, um, customized uh, people. Uh, yeah. So I found something that I think we all will want. Sorry, fellas, I'm back. Oh, oh you're oh back. Oh, my Perfect God. Timing. Oh, yes. Wow. What? Oh. Someone has put together a <sighs> custom that is Snyder Cut Joker. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. insanely good so yes this is sorry this is another one uh, that I follow he also repainted his Robocop to the Robocop oh. 2 version wow. the blue the blue tint I love Ew. that blue I'm so tempted to try it on mine but I probably butcher it ah uh, yeah that's an expensive figure you don't want to do that I have two I have two um all right well I got one for $150 including the chair because um one of his fingers was missing at um that's a I'm little sure distressing if, why did that I'm not sure, i don't know i'm not sure if you have um or if sideshow do, i don't know if anyone does this but um our official distributor in australia called pop culture they have a warehouse in my state and any returned items that ha are damaged or stuff missing or whatever um once every two years they have a warehouse sale where you can buy those damaged goods at wow. an extremely low price uh, so I picked up that Robocop. He was missing uh, a finger and he was missing um, the battle damaged helmet. So he's everything else. And I already have a complete Robocop, so I didn't care. Uh, and, and I picked him up for $150, including that chair. So oh. that is, yes, insane. But um, I'll stop commandeering the screen with my custom figure people. Oh, but um, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to have a crisis in a minute. Um, Stop there are a lot it. of Stop options. It. Stop it. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm just literally gonna finish stream's over. <laughs> if you didn't get your shit read out tough. <laughs> I'm gone. I got something to do. Okay. <laughs> There's actually one you should take care of first before you leave. There's a good one. I'm gonna do it all. All right. But my mind's just like I want to. I just want to scroll through this all day. I just want to scroll so this all day and then phone up fifty people and go. I need you to do this for me. <laughs> you do that for me. I want you to do this. You, you're doing this. That guy is doing that. Um. By the way, uh, Robert, there was a question for you when you were away having a. Oh, wife. I apologize. Uh, do you ever? Did you ever get into the Toy Fair magazine in the states? I loved it. I bought Toy Fair every. I, I bought every issue of Toy Fair and Wizard, uh -huh. and I, I I miss it. I do I do miss it. I mean, what's interesting is, I feel like like I've been, you know, collecting things. It, it, I used to collect like everything. Now it's pretty much just 
six scale hot toys. Uh, although I'll get accessories and things and I'll buy the errant one twelfth scale figure, like all, all the Mezco stuff. They'll, they did like a warriors, the movie, the warriors, they yeah. did a, a warriors tin. And I, I did bought you get the Superman. Tin. No, no, because I, I didn't I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. I just, I only would buy the 12 scale figures if they're movie related and not like superhero movie related. So I got the uh... Diabolic, the clockwork orange, the warriors and and like stuff like army of darkness and and those those are the ones that i would buy because they're movie related the warriors four pack comes in a like a a metal tin and it's really cool so not only are the figures great but then the tin is displayable as well and um it's just ghostbusters Did you get yeah, that? Well, well, I got the I have the I have the Enter Bay. I mean the um Blitzway. Uh, Blitzway ones. Oh. Yeah. Those Speaking are the greatest figures. <laughs> those figures are great. And by the way, um maybe maybe I could be paying off an Ecto one from Toys Wonderland. Oh. Maybe. Oh. It'll, I mean and, and 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 based on their 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 uh payment plan, I wouldn't get it for 2 years. I'm not saying I did do that. <laughs> but maybe, but because uh, if you have those figures, why not get Necto One? You're already halfway there, right? <laughs> sure, you're halfway there. You've already, <laughs> you've already got the four pack with Slimer. You know, I wish I did. I, I wish I, I did. Oh, you week. didn't get those? I thought you had those. I do, but I didn't get the four pack. I bought them separately because by the time I wanted to get them, they were sold out. The, mm. the pack was sold out. So I had to, I bought them at a um, Comic Con dre- uh, cosplaying as Spider Man. Um, mm-hmm. And everyone thought that was quite hilarious that Spider Man was buying four Ghostbusters. Um, <laughs> you might get a cease and desist from the studio for doing that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I bought them. Um, Did you get without the Slimer? Slimer? Oh. No. I need to um, I need to get Slimer at some point because you can buy him separately now. Yeah. Um, I need yeah. to get him at some point. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I just think that Ecto one is so cool. You know, it's, it's, it's. Maybe I can see which is faster, the eighty nine Batmobile or the Ecto one. Who can drag race and or the uh, uh, versus the? <laughs> is Land that a question? Or? I'm pretty sure the Batmobile is faster. I don't know. I don't know. Seen, have you seen the Batmobile from Batwoman? She can't even catch a person running down the street with it. I've seen uh, it thanks to you, which I hadn't. I wish I hadn't seen it. It's horrendous. <laughs> It's a Corvette. It's not a Batmobile. He's just what it, Bruce Wayne's has gone into the cor, uh, the Corvette, the Chevrolet showroom, and yeah. <laughs> I'll have that one in black. Yeah, no. he's, he's actually he's actually bought it from the showroom as well. It's not even <laughs> custom and to be delivered. He's literally just taken it from the showroom yeah. floor. He's given him the, the bat on there. No, no. I'm going to put some orange stickers. No, no, she put the orange stickers on it. Oh, it's horrible. Um, horrible. Andrew Matthews with a five pound super chat. RMB, please get out your star fury from Babylon 5 because Az is now watching it. Uh, that's a model kit and it's unassembled. It is actually right above me in the in the attic. Oh, and um, uh, call it the attic of the can a, can a garage have an attic? I guess it can. Uh, but yeah. um, yes, it's above me, but it's a great kit. Yes, Ravel made it, uh, Star Fury from Babylon 5, and it comes with multiple decal sets, so you can make it different people, different people's Star Furies. I'm still... I'm, I'm coming out of the grief period of the Enterprise D. I, thanks to the videos you sent me, I've been watching that guy. Bruh, you can't tell me you don't want to get that Enterprise I, D. I do, I do want to get it. It's not hard to make, come on. It doesn't 20, look hard to... Well, like I can make it. That's that's what I should say. It looks like I can do that, and um, you got to do it. Uh, I don't know where I don't know where to purchase it from though. Go to the Eagle Moss website. Just go to the yeah. I'm they're sure. UK based. I know, but I'm sure I went there and I couldn't see it. Go there. I love look. I love another look. Go there right now and buy it <laughs> while we're on the stream. Look, and I <laughs> buy it. Like, I Eagle it. Moss. Do it. Eagle, there you go. If Eagle Moss UK. Here we go. Shop.eaglemoss.com. Um, I don't want the fucking thing. Hey, sorry. Um, you want I the hate, Enterprise Build a Bear? I hate Discovery. So where Me do too. I where do I go to on this shop by 
starships i think that's what i did before yeah don't they have a big like front like something on the header going uh build your own 1701d uh no okay you know what I'm is this one it. of those magazine subscription type yes dealios? And you get pieces like like the james bond stuff ah, i'm building the, I i'm building see. a one eighth scale db5 it is i see there is beautiful there is a uh, there is one of those magazine subscription dealios in France only at the moment for a um, thirty centimeter tall or maybe it's even no sixty centimeter tall diecast with light up Megazord from um, the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that can convert into the individual Zords, but it's France only. So unfortunately, uh, I cannot. Wow, that's it. amazing. By the way, as I put the UK link in oh. your in the chat. There it is. Go there. You can order it. Now, do it. Do it now. I know you're a pop star and you don't have to listen to anyone because you're now got an entourage. I want to be part of your entourage. Go buy this. <laughs> Let me just speak to my manager about it. Oh, speak to your man. You know what? Eventually, we're going to have to like call your people if we want to <laughs> schedule this stream. Okay. Manager says, okay. <laughs> oh, that's, that's okay there you go I um, like... right so what do i do i just do i just sign up for the 12 month yeah is, is it over 12 months oh my god look at all this lovely dude i i'm telling you ah! okay everyone out <laughs> out i got well, i have to go because i'm supposed to be on a stream in like I'm eight scared. minutes you are yeah 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 um i'll smash through the super chats G give me a give me a time robert say when you gotta go i will it's okay, okay. i can be late it's not like everybody who's not watching my stream give, isn't give watching this one right now <laughs> yeah. they know we'll send them over they know where i am <laughs> uh oilers workshop with a five dollar this stream makes me want to quit my job put my star wars vhs tape in and sit on the living room floor with my Legos and figures. I'm 35. Don't stop the joy, baby. If you're 35, why do you have a VHS tape? If you're 35, why do you have a job? <laughs> God, just just be on the dole, right? Yeah. DHSS. <laughs> Wham, bam. I am a man. Job or no job. You can Take tell me that I'm not. Right. Do you enjoy what you do? It's a little wham uh, for you. Uh, just Kinky stop. Sphincter. That, we've had it all today. That's that's nothing. Uh, with a five dollar super chat. Hey guys, just joined. If hot, uh, sorry, just yeah, just joined. If Hot Toys does a Zack Snyder Justice League, hopefully uh, they will. What's your anticipated figure? And y'all, where are soups and teaser for Joker? Well, the the, the rumor is Justin. Well, exactly. we got three more. Three, yeah. Cyborg, Black Suit Superman, and Nightmare Batman reissue. That is unconfirmed, but my source has never been wrong before. Woof. So. There you go. Uh, Penny Wisdom with a $5. Daft Punk retire as Az launches his Electronica <laughs> career within days. Perfect timing wait a minute as are they behind you are you telling us that daft punk <laughs> is actually the people behind ocean man i cannot confirm nor deny uh anything they're gonna uh, announce tron 3 with as as the new oh, hell yeah. I'll score do he's gonna score tron 3 <laughs> we, I, I didn't produce any of this shit we remember our super chats when you're famous mr rich dj mate Maybe, mayhap. <laughs> Let's just face it; probably not. You know, when we can go my... to Australia. You'll play the big day out. Well, I'll just be with my Cristal and my bitches, and everything will be cool. I'll be on stage scissoring with Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all wish? No, I don't. I don't <laughs> at all. I want to go to Adelaide to wine country and we'll go visit we'll go visit mm. Justin. No. And you'll you don't want to go to Adelaide. But don't, Adelaide is like the most boring part of us. I'm so sorry to anyone who lives in Adelaide, but it <laughs> is the most boring part of Australia. <laughs> Come on, man. We're Emma. gonna go we're gonna go uh, drink wine. They make wine in Adelaide, right? You just can go to any other state and just get the wine given like brought to you. We we got wineries all around, you're fine. 
Just come if you come to Australia, Gold Coast. You got beaches. You got theme parks. You got or, um, hell yeah, you got beaches. <laughs> <laughs> Justin's collection uh, just puts Adelaide on blast. Yes, Why I'm sorry. Oh, I'm you're... not much of a fan of Perth either. Sorry, people. <laughs> yes, yes, fuck off as wow. well. Wow, wow. Justin for Justin's collectibles. This is this. He's just burning. All of my Perth and Adelaide-based viewers have just unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> All They're five of them. <laughs> they out. They're done. This is this is not good. This is not good. Oh. <laughs> Uh, WZA with a five dollar. Hey, Laz, every time I listen to you and Robert, I'm tempted to get a Transformer figure from Flame Toys. Do it, Phantom Flame Toys. And this is not a show about temptation, this is a show about giving in. Buy it, yeah, do it now. There's no, I am, there is only uh, debauch. Buy it, yeah, (laughs) just buy it. Just uh, what do you mean? You just gotta buy it. There is no temptation. There is only so. so. <laughs> Are you a god? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then die. die. That's a little uh, Ghostbusters for you. Yeah, it's great. great such good oh, it is. <laughs> I am scared beyond the. <laughs> I'm scared beyond the capacity for reasonable thought. <laughs> Oh, Harold Ramos, what a dude. Uh, Moon Dude, 345. It's like on Stripes where he's in he's, he's in the recruitment office for the army in Stripes with Bill Murray. And the guy is asking the question, he goes, are you, are you homosexual? And they just look at each other and go, no. <laughs> but we're willing to try. <laughs> Oh, Harold Ramis, you were just great. Uh, Moo2345 with a $10 super chat. Hello, G- oh, sorry, I'm, I'm causing friction waves to knock stuff down. Hello, gents. Just managed to order the uh, Asmus Toy mm. Ghibli a couple of days ago. I'm very excited. Question What is a character that does not officially exist as a six scale that you guys would want i've I've always said the prisoner patrick mcgoon is the prisoner with a change of clothes to his john drake suit mm. Charcoal black john drake suit yes please guys robert you know i i this is i want i want logan's run figures mm. i want i want logan francis jessica and box no one will ever do them. But if I was able to someday get enough money to produce real A-list figures, I would do Logan's Run figures for me because I'd be the only person that bought them. Justin? Um, I don't know. We're kind of blessed with the amount of stuff that we have. I would, honestly, right now, and it's probably because I just watched BVS last night, I would love a Jeremy Irons Alfred. Mm. Oh, yeah. To go along with um, your Batcave, uh, Bat Computer diorama from Jazz Inc. and the Batmobile, you can have him working in the Batmobile. That'd be awesome. I don't know why. Um, like they made the um, the Alfred from the Dark Knight trilogy. I don't know why we can't get a, a Jeremy Irons Alfred, who is like the same age as Bruce Wayne, which I just found just very peculiar. But anyway, we'll allow it. Zack Snyder, um, we'll allow it. <laughs> we'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put him put him in his uh, his former SAS, you know, top that he's got. He's got his army. Yes, and oh, and you can have the interchangeable um, uh, leather apron. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, oh man, because when I get my back computer, because I bought the um, call the, him the uh, butler. The, the, if the it's BDF, a third party, because I got the yeah the the butler. No, I like it because I got the BVS Batman as well, which has been slightly customized. It's got some bullet holes on it. Sorry, no, BVS one. That's Justice League. No, this is BVS, is it? my friend. Yeah, oh, yes. It looks, it looks too dark for BVS. It's it's the lighting. I apologize. Okay, okay. Uh, but he like, does have a custom cape on, which, look at the drape. Uh, I know. Oh, 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 oh. That, is, that, that figure is incredible. And it comes, uh, mine came with the one in six scale 
tech helmet, which becomes the um, uh, the tactical suit Batman helmet in uh, Justice League. Yeah, I didn't get. Yes. I, you know, I was I was sans money, so I couldn't get any of it. I have the I have the Man of Steel Superman, but I the BVS all the BVS figures are lo- BVS and Thor Ragnarok. Those are the oh. two empty holes in my soul. God damn. I know. Yeah, I, I, uh, I could do with a uh, I could do with a Thor from Thor Ragnarok. I want Thor. Yeah. I want Hella, and I want Gladiator Hulk. Could There's a third Hela. party um, Hella coming out, which um, don't buy it until someone else has uh, received it because it might be crap. So you yeah. <laughs> have to wait and see. Um, but that road worn Thor, in my opinion, is the best Thor that Hot Toys have ever made. Um, that Ragnarok road worn Thor. He is so good. So good. Um, so if you can get it, get it. <sighs> Those are so expensive. I know. Someone sold one in Australia recently, like last week, for three hundred and fifty dollars, which wow. is insanely cheap. And I don't yeah. know what they were thinking. It was in a collector group, so it wasn't like on eBay or anything. Um, so they probably just I don't know, didn't do their market research. But how could you not know? They how needed you- money for meth, man. That's what it was. Possible. It's possible. Yeah. I would have bought it. <laughs> Yeah, I would have just got to give them the math. Yeah, you don't want cash. It's just here. Yeah, just have some math. <laughs> this is what's going to go straight. I imagine. Down. I imagine that's the first part of the first room of your house. You got like the, a meth lab cooking it up to, <laughs> yeah. to pay for the <laughs> toys. Yeah, I'm only selling meth for the toys. I have my Walter White figure. You know, it's out here. <laughs> I got my Heisenberg figure, and so we agreed four hundred for this. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, uh, I brought some math. <laughs> Have you heard fucking scissoring? Let me play it for you. Who king scissoring? Yeah. (laughs) Go on iTunes or Spotify. Purchase it now. 75% to go to charity. Links in the description box down below. Uh, Moon. uh, No, no, we had that. Wake and Bacon uh, with a 10 Canadian. Hello, lads. Even though I hate Lucasfilm at the moment, I couldn't help myself and bought the Black Series six inch Luke slash Yoda Jedi training Mm. and R2D2 with swamp camo. Lol. Empire is my favorite Star Wars, and it's very special to me. You do what you got to do, dude. You do what your heart tells you to do. Um, Grem Pal... Ooh. Paltakin, maybe. Paltakin. Uh, with a 5 US. Can any of you recommend a good next generation? Uh, TNG. Dustbuster Type 1 Phaser Toy slash Replica. Uh, from Season 1. I love how Ocean Man is on repeat playback in my head now. Hell yeah! I don't know where to get a good like. Uh, did I mean maybe um, Playmates made one from the back in the day? A Dustbusters. Uh, I would one. imagine Playmates would have done one. They might have done one. I'm not sure though. By the way, why would you want that? It's a big. It, it was. The big, the, the big Dustbuster from season one with the big, oh, the dust yeah, the big, I yeah, like, yeah. I like the Dustbuster phaser. Well, the, the 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 little one looked like they were fucking opening the car door. <laughs> it's true. You know, the pressing beep, and you could just hit. You know, they do that on the screen outside. The car just goes and unlocks. <laughs> it is true. I like the I, dust. I, I, I the know the Dustbuster. Hey, um, I'm going to have to leave. Okay. Leave this stream. I know it was daylight saving time. And <laughs> do you have daylight saving time in Australia? Uh, I, we do, but I don't know if it's on right now or if it's off. I don't oh, know. Because we were on. We got on. So that's why we were, for me, it, this stream started an hour late. Yeah. Um, I, I was I was wondering why you were just like, why does he want the link an hour before the stream? We don't go to daylight saving for another week and a half. Yeah. Yeah. We're at different intervals, I would imagine. So, so I was yeah, like, what I the hell, dude? Was- I'm waiting to go. Because I have, yeah. I've already I've already pushed my show like <laughs> an hour and fifteen minutes, but that's okay. Because you know what? There's no more fun streams than this stream, <laughs> and it is Zack Damn Snyder's right. Justice League Day. Yes, so, I mean the charity stream starts in. Well, I better not say in case it overlaps with the stream, but it starts. We only get to watch it in um, 1080p in SDR. Because Australian streaming services are half baked and horrible, um, so yes, we don't get to watch it in 4K HDR, which I'm very sad about. 
That is well, hmm. you'll be able to get the disc soon though. You'll be able to God buy damn it. you binge. What kind of service are you? It's 2021. How can I, you not have 4K? I don't know, Disgusting. man. Yeah. I know. Says the UK. Give the rights to someone else if you can't do 4K. Robert, is there anything you want to plug before you uh, vamoose? <clears throat> well, okay. Uh, everyone knows maybe that I've worked on an animated series for the last two years, which debuts on Netflix worldwide. It is Dota, Dragon's Blood. I was the animatic editor. But all episodes drop on Netflix worldwide on the 25th. And that's something everybody can see. I'm very proud of that. It was created and show run by my good friend Ashley Edward Miller. You can you can find him as Ash Master Zero on Twitter. Find him and tell him he's great. But that's uh, that's what I have coming out. You can find me on my own YouTube channel, The Burn Network, and come watch my streams, like the one I'm about to do about cancel culture. <laughs> so come on over. Oh my god! I know, uh, but but then I also want to say that all of you should go to Spotify and get the song Ocean Man. By as heel versus babyface is now a pop star, and uh, it's unbelievable. And uh, let me tell you, just living my best life, Rob. Just living uh, my I, best life. I don't know. And for those of you who might not have subscribed or go, let me suggest going to YouTube, finding Justin's collection. Going to YouTube, Justin's collection is in fact the best. Hot Toys and third party six scale figure channel on the web, bar none. Although, disclaimer, I am not responsible for the ending of any relationships you have <laughs> while visiting his channel because you will want to spend money. It is worse than the 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 yayo that Tony Montana sold in Scarface. It's that addictive. Plus, the dulcet tones of Justin's voice, I'm telling you. You want to hear them. I know my girlfriend does. She <laughs> walks around the house. Elizabeth walks around the house and does an impression of Justin. And I just get, I feel serene when that happens. So I'm like, oh, hello. It's hello. great. <laughs> it's yeah. fantastic. It is fantastic. It is fantastic. So, gentlemen, I'm going to take my leave of you and go do my own stream, which is late. And everyone watch the Snyder Cut. Today is Snyder Cut Day. It's also St. Patrick's oh, yes. Day. The luck yes, of the yes. Irish must be with you. I'm not wearing green, but I've got hazel eyes. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, <clears throat> uh, next green with gangrene. Oh, there dude. you go. So, gentlemen, I will see you next week on my channel. Yes, sir. You're all invited. Yes. <laughs> you got to have good there. stuff. Take care. Bye. All right. I will see you later. We're not. We've only got a few. Uh, Justin, we've only got a few to go. So we're, we'll, we'll, we should be all Excellent. right. Excellent. Perfect. Um, let's see if there's any more. There's the Dustbuster one. Kyson with a five euro. Any of you got a Batman Returns Catwoman? If not, suggestions for a one in six. I I, uh, I used to Batman Returns, but I do have a. Oh, yes. How's the body holding up? Apparently, the sideshow bodies on that specific Catwoman break a lot, so be careful. It's, um, it feels flimsy. Yes, be it careful feels, with it. Uh, it feels fragile, should I say. Like, be very she careful. Be handled with care. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um... <laughs> What is it? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, they're sort of because they're reissuing some of the Batman stuff now, they might even go back and revisit the, the older. Oh, I hope they do. I really want that Catwoman. There's a third party version which I've owned, which is fine, but um, I think Hot Toys could do better. Um, but as of right now, no, there isn't an official yeah. one. Um, a, there a was a, the, penguin, man. a penguin. Oh, yes, we do need a penguin. Seriously, get on that. There was a video released um, showing Hot Toys offices. Um, you know, one, it was an interview. And they had on the wall um, the research that they were doing for Catwoman. So they are researching it, but like, get on with it. Like, yeah. Get it done. You, Come you've on. Looked, now do it. Yeah. Just, it's a, not hard. It's a black thing with white <laughs> stitching all over it. Just get it done. Just get it. She did it over so, in the film. So you could. She did it in like two seconds. You know, yeah. whipped it up. Let's, let's see. Machine out. 
Got the yes. little symbols on. <laughs> yes. Ready. So, so I'm hoping soon. If if yeah, I'm hoping within the next couple of years they they're like, you know what? Let's do Catwoman. Let's get it done finally. Mm. Uh, and Penguin and all the other people that they haven't done. Yes, including Max Shrek. Max Shrek. Yes, I would. I would buy that. I would so, like a Christopher Walken Max Shrek Plex. Yes, someone uh, make. Sorry, this. Go on. <coughs> someone someone should make. Hmm. Yes, someone hopefully. should. People should listen to the stream. They should. They and should. All the stuff that we want, you should do. <laughs> just, j- just listen to us. We'll, you'll be fine. Let's do everything we want to do. Okay, <laughs> that's the rules. Uh, Roger Haynes with a two Canadian super sticker of a thumbs up. Thank you, Roger. Thumbs up back at you, sir. Darth Cerebus with a five pound. As just came from Gary's stream, and he muted the end of his stream for five minutes. Funny as hell, <laughs> ribs hurt. Keep up the content. Keep the content coming, brother. <clears throat> I know. I text him. He came in. A uh, white tiger with a two euro twenty nine for the bat wing. Good luck. Uh, you see, they've already started me off with a quick. You're being encouraged. I know. Someone recently, a YouTube channel, um, was doing a, a like a fundraiser type thing for themselves to be able to get the Iron Studios Batmobile, and I think he raised like eight hundred dollars in that stream. Wow! Um, because people wanted to see, like, he's a statue collector. I think he's a pretty small channel, like five thousand uh, five thousand subscribers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he raised like eight hundred dollars, so he's now getting himself an Iron Studios Batmobile, or maybe it was another studio. Anyway, whatever studio is making that Batmobile, he's now getting it. So not a bad idea if you want to do a Batwing fundraiser video and then buy yourself the Batwing. I got. I gotta say, I gotta say, these people, I can't ask them for any more. They're too good. They're too good to me. Y'all are too good. They're too good to me. They're too good to me. You know. Yeah, I, I, I'll do it. I'll stick it on layway. I'll do it per month, you know? Get it done. As will get it done. These these people are just beautiful. They do enough. They do more than enough. They go above and beyond. Uh, Nerdarachi uh, with a $42 ocean man. Take me by the hand. Yeah, baby. Number 71 wow. in the UK iTunes. For now, for now, it might go oh. higher. You better go higher. We're creeping up. We were 74 oh. by three last night. We're now 71 uh, uh. tonight. We've got up two places. Woo! Get this man to number one. Don't think if we freeze the Tepema. There's gotta be some miracle work for that. I think I think we're kind of at the point top if we get 50. to 70, get to 69. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do for me. We, Perfect. We're up to 69 giggity there you go i'll be i'll be made i'll be made uh then people go what number did you get to I go 69 <laughs> yeah, you know you know uh, uh grim paltakin uh paltakin again with a two dollar type two dustbuster phaser i mean again try uh playmates try playmates look on ebay playmates uh tng phases uh falcon store with a five chilean as i'm a tad disappointed the song didn't say ocean my i am take me from behind way i think oh ocean man would uh have to buy me lunch and chocolates and flowers <laughs> you know before he tries any of that shenanigans and even then it'd be hey mate cut it out Cut it out. <sighs> Naughty ocean man. Uh, Woo Gambino with a $5. Uh, I bought the Pacino and De Niro heat combo pack. Thanks oh, to... Oh, as. And as, yeah, for popping In my... the chat. Mm. People oh, are saying... A lot of people are saying Batwoman has oh, been cancelled. Yes, yes. Now then, I've heard a rumor it was tea Oh. I didn't want to do a video because I heard a rumor it was teetering. It was teetering on the brink of cancellation. And they were now thinking due to the ratings, because uh this week's ratings got adjusted down heavily again. Oh. So uh they it was at like a five a point five nine, which in itself is garbage. 
but then they adjusted it down to 0.55. So they lost another 40,000 on the adjustment. The um, the demo was 0.11, which means nothing. The advertisers want to advertise to are watching it. Uh, and I heard that they were looking to pull the trigger on the cancellation. But I didn't want to do a video doing that because it's very difficult to speak for 10 minutes about they might be doing this. So let me just check if they have. Because I've heard, a, what I've also heard is they might be moving the character into Batman v Superman. <clears throat> they might be moving the character of Batwoman into Batman v. Uh, uh, sorry, into Superman and Lois, I should say. So. What, 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 why? I don't know if they do that show is, right off. Just, just, just that character didn't, didn't work. So. Just let's just move on. Superman and Lois is doing surprisingly well. Um, I think it's great. I think the show's great. I have, uh, haven't except seen for that CGI episode. in the third episode. Oh my god, it was horrible. That bridge, the bridge scene in oh, China. The CW, that's a fucking miracle. Just film if they film at night, the CGI have usually looks Batman? okay. <laughs> oh, I've <laughs> have you seen Batwoman? <laughs> Uh, I'm not seeing anything which is, um, unless you can link me on Twitter, people, I'm not seeing anything that is officially Definitive. confirming the cancellation. Maybe they read it on, we got this covered. <laughs> we made this up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we made this up. Uh, we watched the YouTuber's channel. That, you could call it that. Um, so, yeah, until, until the trigger's been pulled, I'm going to hold off on doing uh, a video on that. So until the trigger's been pulled. But yeah, I've heard that's the rumor that I've heard. Oh, I never knew it did this. Is it weird that I'm excited for the uh, Batwoman figure? I'm actually I'm actually looking forward to getting that. <laughs> well, I've got a little story about that. I know. <laughs> you see, I did say, hey, if anyone released a Batwoman figure, I would support it because you know that show's made me money. God bless it for being absolutely hideously garbage. So the third party one comes out, which makes it even funnier because it means one, you know, CW. And, they're not getting <laughs> <they're not laughs> So this, it makes it even sweeter. So I go and I go and pre-order one and I just buy it outright. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just want it done. And I just want it delivered when it, when it, you know, I just want to get an email saying these are the import fees when it eventually ships. Oh, brilliant. Okay. I'm getting old, Justin. I'm getting old and I'm getting a bit senile in my old age. Oh my God. You didn't. A week later, I'm on Toys Era, and I'm like, "Oh, I didn't order the the, the, the Oh Bat my god, you did! <laughs> I didn't order the Batwoman. I better order the Batwoman before it goes. Oh so no! I, I order it and purchase it outright again. <laughs> oh, it goes sold out after I bought that. After I purchased that, it goes to sold out. Oh, and, and my then I check my emails, and I think I think, oh, what have I bought from Toys Era? So I just bring up all my emails from Toys Era, two different order numbers, two Batwomen, and I just like, <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I just, laugh. I just laugh. oh my god, I can't believe that. That I'm is send one to a friend. I'm going to send one to to Gary Nerd Rod. Mustn't like that friend very much. Well, I, I offered it to Mola, <laughs> and, and, uh, who I did a stream with, who's, uh, he loves ragging on the, well, he loves the Batwoman show because it's so bad. And um, I was like, hey, Mola, if you've got a, if you've got a, like a PO box or something I can send it to, I'll send you that. And he was just like, let's just say, uh, let's just say thanks for the offer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll give it to Gary. I'll give it to Gary. <sighs> uh, so yeah, I need, I need, um, I need that official confirmation, but yeah, I've heard I'm I'm right up there with the rumor people that uh, it is looking bad for the show, real yep. bad. But it doesn't surprise me. It is trash. It is absolute trash. I don't, it, I um mm -hmm. I, I don't know why. I, I'm, before this Superman and Lois show, I really thought CW didn't know how to make a. I, I, I'm trying to pick my words carefully. How hero. to make a show? Yeah, yes, a, a superhero show done well. Um, I, I like a lot of stuff about Titans. Uh, they did a lot of stuff wrong, but 
overall, I like Titans. That's, um, that's not a website. That's we. That's not a website. Uh, that 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 for that isn't a website, folks. That's a bullshit merchant. Yes, okay. I told so, you we got this. Never, covered. never, never quote. We got this covered. It's it's garbage. No. It's garbage. So not cancelled yet. Yes, not. It's not cancelled yet. They're yet. jumping. They're jumping. The um. They're trying to jump the story. Uh, yeah, well, it's one of those things that it looks right like it's very time. likely to be cancelled, right? It looks like it's very likely to be cancelled. They're like, you know what? If we say that it's 100% going to be cancelled and then it doesn't, then we can just say, oh, you know, they changed their mind. Like, it, it's a win-win for them. <laughs> this is just it. They renewed it a few weeks ago. Yeah. After, after about three episodes of the first season, they, they said that we renewed oh, it for season three. But the ratings have been... Like that. <laughs> and it's just like, I, I just, there's somebody there that go, Look, we can't, we, there is, how can we, 400,000 people are watching this and that's it. 500,000. This is a bat show. Yeah. But hey, look, when that show has got nothing to do with Batman, it's got nothing to do with superheroes, it's got nothing to do with Gotham, nothing to do with Gotham villains. What it's got to do with, that's its own thing, but it ain't anything to do with comic stuff. It's it's Cardi B on stage. That's the uh. one. Um. So yeah, 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 yeah. Until we get proper official, proper official. But I'm I'm there. I'm already ahead of you, folks. I'm already ahead. I'm I'm cl I'm glued into the Batwoman news. You know, you know what Plugged I'm saying. In. He's wired in. He's ready to wired go. In. in the Matrix with it, baby. Oh yes. Uh where do we get to? Yes, with the um the uh the combo of Pacino and De Niro from uh Heat. Uh thanks to RMB and as for popping my one sixth scale cherry. How dog says Wu Gambi. Congratulations. Yeah. Mm. Stony D with a fifty dollar super chat. Good grief. Ooh. Thank you, sir. Just pre-ordered the one in sixth, uh, third, fourth, and sixth Doctors from Sideshow. First time buying this sort of collectible. Don't know if anyone is interested in these, but they look pretty dope. Hope those uh, are the reissues, right? The, the big doctors. chief. Yeah, these are, these are the big chief ones. These Imagine, ones. yeah, get it. those big chief figures. Except you send those head sculpts off to that people. Those people that we were looking at earlier. And get them to do the repaint. <laughs> well, it's funny you should say that because there's a company in the UK called Zavi. And I they know are... Zavi. I've worked with Zavi. Okay. So it's Virgin Megastore, essentially. Yes. Or used to be Virgin Megastore. And they have um, put up, mm -hmm. not saying Big Chief, they're saying exclusive to Zavi, but it is, it is the Big Chief, 9th, 10th, 11th, and twelfth doctors, who I I and, well, I watched Doctor oh, Who when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Is okay, one of them David? One of them's David Tennant, yeah, right? Yeah. So we're talking um, my favorite Doctor. Yeah, we're talking. Oh my god, my, my brain. Uh, Peter uh, Eccleston. Peter Eccleston. That's the guy with the big with the bigger Stop, ears, Stop. right? Uh, Is that him? Yeah, we got Eccleston with the ears. Then we got David Tennant. I don't like him. Then we got Matt yep. Smith, Christopher Eccleston. Uh, then we got. Peter Capaldi, who's my personal favorite. Yes. They're going for 200 pounds and that's it. Which is, which is for UK, probably a little bit cheaper than Big Chief would have done them for. Nice. Uh, so there won't be any, you, you know, import fees because it's going to be UK. Yep. I just picked myself up a 12th, Big Chief 12th. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to pick up another one and then have have that sent off for a, a paint job like that it would look insane i can i can imagine it now get it done give it a I, go well, they could all uh, yes is the answer to everything and the answer is just yes isn't it Stop oh yes save with a 20 swedish krona real looking woody looked Loke Justin. It did look Is real. that a good thing? 
think so. I think okay. The, yes. I think it's what the kids are saying. I think it's what the kids are oh, saying. Oh, we're not hip. See, we're not hip enough. No. We are not hip mm. enough. Too, too, too much time with yeah. these. Yeah. Too much time with the plastic and not enough time with the, <laughs> the hip kids. Yeah, the- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is that? <laughs> Loke. Okay. We'll add that. I'll add that into my uh, repertoire now. Yeah. I, I've been told I don't have enough adjectives to describe things in my reviews. I say um, fantastic, um, excellent, uh, amazing, but like I don't have enough. So now I'll add loke to my list. There was, I say this with love. There was a yes. video I was watching, a reviewer was watching, and I actually started to count the fantastics. I'm sorry. It's hard. It's really hard to think of some, another adjective. To play I'm like, it. okay. Like mentally, I'm like, okay, I've said fantastic now. Now I've got to think of another one. But it's like sometimes you go, which is, and there's a pause, fantastic. <laughs> like, yeah. You know that you're thinking of another word to say. I'm trying to think of one. I'm like, ah. And then it just comes, fantastic. Uh, yes, I think I've gotten, uh, I think I've gotten better <laughs> with my word selection. Um, but the other issue is I film the videos out of sequence. So I don't film it like intro, then accessories, then unboxing. Like I film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I sometimes I'll, I'll film something that comes later in the review. And then like I've got to try and like piece it together to make it like a seamless thing, which isn't easy because it's all unscripted. So it's like the combo of the worst type of attributes of filmmaking it's out of order it's unscripted and i'm trying to remember what i have said versus what i need to say and it's like anyway i um my adjective list has been added to so a huge thank you to you yeah. super chatting friend loke loke <laughs> low key is is that what it's short for low key. i don't know which but like low key, low key like dope? on the dl yeah it's like low key amazing or like you know, like so the young people say that's like, you know, it's like, oh yeah, it's like underrated, but it's like awesome. I don't know. Please, I'm not hip enough. This is it. I'm too old. And I don't want to I'm learn sorry. anything. Get off my lawn. <laughs> uh, We're sorry. We're sorry. Yeah. yeah. We're shouting at clouds again. Green Leon with a $2. Just a sub to HBO Max. Bring on the Snyder Cut. Nice. They're coming. Nice. I'm very jealous that you get to see it in 4K. And I know I keep going on about it, but I am. Well, that's if you get it through Sky Cinema. And the stupid aspect ratio, the square, stupid square aspect ratio that he's literally, he hasn't filmed it like that. He specifically said, oh, we just cropped it like that. We didn't film it like that. We cropped in the sides. Like, what? What? Why? Well, it can't, just, we thought it. We thought it was IMAX. That's why it was. No, he didn't even film Justice League in IMAX because he said the IMAX cameras were too loud. <laughs> Edi- editing. <laughs> so anyway. I, I um like, I, and I, I would pay to go and watch it in IMAX, but they're only doing giveaway screenings in Australia. Like, you can't pay to oh, go okay. and see it. You have to win it. And oh. I'm like, but I just want to pay. Can you? Can I please pay? Yeah. They're like, no. We win no, no, no. giving you money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only win it. You can't pay for it. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, unfortunately. But anyway, 1080, 1080p in a square format. It's exactly how I dreamed of watching this film. It'll be out on 4K. It'll be out on 4K. Eventually. Eventually. It'll be out on 4K. By that um, time, I won't have another four hours to devote to it. Yeah. <laughs> My life is good. It's, yeah, I'm excited. I'm, excited. I, I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious. Mm, mm, and this stream kicks off in an hour. Uh, Max, relax with a five euro. Henry, the pen. Uh, the pen is mightier than the sword. I have no idea what that's in relation to. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, of course. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hey, I did it. I got a reference. I got that reference. You did. You got, I got the reference. Uh, I'm not that way. I'm that old. But yeah, I got it. Uh, the Gravity Dragon with a two pound super chat. We need an. Uh, no, we don't. I'm so sorry for having oh, to here read. Here we go. It. Yes. We need an as naked flying figure. Lol. <laughs> They're referencing the figure from Friday Night Tights of me flying with everyone on my back. 
Oh my. But I'm naked in it. Okay. Uh, it's not a pleasant sight. Uh, it came <laughs> list with a ten dollars super chat. Hail as RMB and Justin. Uh, Justin, as I just tweeted you the final version of what I showed you yesterday. Yes, I uh, liked it and retweeted it, dude. I should I don't actually have an Twitter. Weekend. Fair warning, it's just the head. Hope you like it. Ah, oh, he's sending it to me. What he's done? Nice. He's taken a nebula head and he's yes. painted the gold. <gasps> Oh, nice. Uh, that is excellent. Now, I'm going to have to buy that Nebula. Well, well yeah. Of yeah. course you're going to have to buy the Nebula. Yeah. Like, was that ever even a question? Well, it, do, do you know something? This, this one was this was a question. Because oh. of the fact that... When you get it... The gold. When you get it, mm. you're going to be like, why did I not buy this? It's... Oh, it's exceptionally good it's just I, that orange thing i know it's ridiculous it should have been a magnetic interchangeable yeah. thing yes i'm i don't know why they didn't do it. it i i just i can think of no reason as to why they didn't neither can i neither can i it's just don't know. weird because it's it is like the end game one as well it's the end game nebula yeah and that plays a very important role in end game it literally, it literally is a thing where Nebula takes that thing off other Nebula's head. It's like it's a a plot point almost. Yeah. Like it's not just some throwaway little no. accessory thing. Like it's an actual yeah. plot device. So why yeah. did they not do it? It's uh. crazy. Uh, thank you, dude. I'm looking forward to receiving it, man. Uh, Archie Pina with a five dollar super chat with the fandom of Snyderverse escalating. I want to see. Gina Carano is Big Barda. That is a great call, by the way. Can I just say? That is a great call. Uh, I'll buy that toy. So who plays um, Mr. Miracle then? If uh, <laughs> if Gina Carano plays Big Barda, who plays Mr. Miracle? I'm thinking. Thinking. I... I, I don't know. I, I hope that um, somehow, some way, they convince Zack Snyder to do another DC film or whatever. I don't think it's ever going to happen. Um, but oh, they're claiming that the um, the Flash movie is going to be technically oh. a uh, Snyderverse movie. Is this Snyder? I will believe it when that Flash movie starts production. Yes, I will believe that. I will believe that movie is coming when it actually starts being filmed because they have said it's gone from like so many different versions. Like, oh, it's going to have Michael Keaton in it now. It's going to have Ben Affleck. They can say that whoever's going to be in it, as long as they don't start filming it. So, yeah. like, begin, begin it. Um, I don't want him to get it because I don't think Ezra Miller is a particular good Flash. Um, Apparently, he's exceptional in this Snyder version of Justice League. Because he's not being... Apparently. Big... Yes. Apparently he is no longer a, a weird, like, joke oh. of a character. He's okay. apparently exceptional. Um, and apparently Ben Affleck is no longer humorous in any way. He's back to being his mean, old, grumpy Good. Bruce Wayne. Yes. He was so... man in the Justice League. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's so I, I haven't seen it. But... Kicked in by everyone. Yes, I, I hope people um, who have seen it have said that. So I, I'm looking forward to that. I just want a Michael Keaton. I want a Michael Keaton Batman. Beyond. Will he be oh. in a in a bat suit in this Flash movie? Is the question. If they or will it just be Bruce Wayne? Well, there's two there's two ways that you could play him in this. Mm -hmm. You could play him as Kingdom Come Batman. Yes. And have him in the exo suit, so he could just be in a suit and an exo suit. Yes. Or you could play him as uh, Old Man Bruce Wayne in a Batman Beyond capacity and have uh, a McGuinness in the Batcave yes. with him. And then kickstart a new Batman franchise yes. with Batman Beyond. I would love that. But then where does Ben Affleck fit in? It's like... Uh, ben Affleck gets gets his 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 um his Deathstroke film. No, I mean in that Flash movie because he's also apparently in it. Well, so, I mean, 
I would imagine it would only be cameo. Yeah, a little, a little, a little cameo. Because you got to me. You've got to have what? Oh God, my brain's gone dead. Uh, Negan, what's his name? Super. Yes, 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 yes. You, um, you've got uh, something. Morgan. Um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Um, you got to have Jeffrey Dean Morgan as as Thomas Wayne in that film. Oh yes, just you come in and kick some ass. As a, yeah, fucking red, red oval bat. You oh. know. Guns, Guns work on the on the shoulder pads. Yeah, they need to treat it like um, that. Uh, the director who directed um, the Boba Fett episode of Mandalorian, where he said, "I don't know if we're ever going to see Boba Fett do anything on screen again, so mm -hmm. I'm going to make this as good as I possibly can, factoring in the fact that we may never see him do anything ever again. Sure. So I want to have him do everything that I've always imagined him doing. So I'm, uh, that's I, I feel like when it comes to comic book style. Um, film comic book style films they don't do that so they don't have that mindset enough they're like oh tackle it in the sequel what if there is no sequel yeah just just do it you just put the cart before the horse exactly like the warehouse scene in batman vs superman like that warehouse fight scene is like everything you've always wanted to see live action from batman they they just did it yes they just got it done so i, I hope that they released it before the film because I know. It was, it was such a, a pinnacle element of the film. It, I know. I don't think there was anything better than that scene in the film. Agreed. That was, every time I think of Batman vs. Superman, that's, that scene is what I think yeah. of. Uh, but I do like the fight <sighs> in the pair of them, I gotta say. I thought the fight uh, was It was okay. I, I watched it, when I watched it again last night, I was like, oh yeah, okay. But it, it's just like, Superman's like, I need to talk to you. And then he's like, smash. And then he just throws Batman through a wall. Yeah, it's like, yeah. just you just hold him and yeah. speak to him if you yeah. want to talk to him. Yeah. Grab him, <laughs> hold, lift him, yeah. hold him. Like, he's grabbing him and, and smashing him. And, and he's like, that whole time you're smashing him, you could, anyway, I understand he was pissed because he just gotten shot at by these sound guns. Yeah. But um, yes. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's good. I mean, they, they were. You know, when it got to that, when the, when the sound guns came out, they they just were going into the Dark Knight. You know, they were going yes. into the recreation of, of of that. So it's kind of like the plot that they had before it sort of fell away. So yes. they could do that segment, then they could go back to it. Uh, and, we'll uh, allow. We'll allow it. Yeah. So it's it was messy, and 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 Snyder's messy. You know, he yes. is messy. He his cinematography is. is Gorgeous. Exceptional. Yeah. His direct his direction is phenomenal, but he's messy. He is messy. Yes. Um, and that was just uh yeah, it was a, a transition that was a bit yeah, could have been smoother. It definitely um, could have. as I'm going to need to head off soon. I'm um sure, expecting like someone to come and measure my blinds to put in some oh, nice. new blinds. Uh, we've yes. got about three super chats, so we should be done. It's, oh, excellent. A couple of minutes. Um, da, ba, 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 ba. yeah, Brian Hepburn with a two dollar suit chart. I want the poison clan from the five deadly venoms. Uh, Praxium with a five dollar suit chart. I'm a Star Wars collector exclusively, but if they made Venture Brother Hot Toys, I'd be on that like stick on redacted. So imagine that shit. Um, <laughs> Keaton Smith with a two pound suit chart. As have you got an Indiegogo comic re recommendation? <clears throat> I don't know if Alien Alamo still going, gone into demand, or if it's now closed. But Graham Nolan's Alien Alamo on Indiegogo. Uh, see if you can check that out. If it's if it's not in demand, if it's completely closed, you've missed out on a beauty there because Graham is amazing. Former uh, Detective Comics artist from DC. Uh, Michael Anthony Lewis with a five pound on the four K topic. As are you aware that if we. Uh, can get it in 4K in the UK tomorrow. Now TV doesn't look hopeful. I think you can get it 4K from Sky Cinema, but not. But it's going to be 1080 for Now TV. Uh, but I would look into that because I'm actually going to be getting it through Now TV. So just like Justin, I'm just going to be seeing it in 1080, I'm afraid. Ah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And a quick refresh. I think we just got... Uh, sorry, that's it. That's the refresh button. That... The other one wasn't. There you go. Um, the Gravity Dragon is actually here, so let's just do this. Got two left. Hey, I could uh, I could have always said as and everyone from Friday Night Tights Eiffel Towering figures, but I didn't. 
You don't want to know about that, Justin, at all. Okay. Uh, okay. Bushin Ryu Cap for five dollars. As so, I heard Batwoman is finally cancelled. We throw in a goodbye Batwoman party with burning priors and Guinnesses. Uh, enjoy the Snyder Cut, everyone. It's not official yet. It's a big rumor. We got it covered. A tr- have gone with it that it's already done. They're just trying to get ahead of the story and get clicks. We need an official, and there is not an official on it, but it, it's it's looking like three and out. It is looking like three seasons and out. And speaking of out, not yet, but probably. Not officially, but probably. But probably. Uh, Justin, would you like to yes. plug your channel, good sir? Yes, sure. If you like wow. one six scale figures... As you can see right here, uh, I like to get them early and review them on the channel. So if you want to see them uh, ahead of whenever yours arrive from Sideshow, my channel is called Justin's Collections down here in the corner of the screen. So come uh, come ahead and come along and check it out. Let me know what you think. Check it out. Uh, do go and see it. Um, we actually well, warning you may be encouraged to spend money. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch, please. You know we know. We're going into the lion's den. We're going with swords and shields. You know, we're ready oh, for yeah. a fight. You know, we're not, <laughs> we're not there to roll over and go, oh, well, that's a nice looking dragon. We'll fucking say, how much is that dragon? <laughs> and when can I get it? <sighs> um, yeah, Robert and I came across uh, Justin's channel. We've been watching it for a long time. And then when we decided to do this uh, toy series, we started, we discussed uh, Justin. Word of mouth got to Justin. Justin then heard us talking about um his channel is talking about his channel so it's been great to uh to be able to get justin on board his his videos are phenomenal they really are um Thank you. he's the are they fantastic yeah it's, it's just the perfect <laughs> way of you because you know like i said you just put it on display and showcase it uh you have the option of listening to what you have to say and and heeding your advice or not heeding your advice or you just go with what you want so it's the perfect way. It's the perfect way to showcase. He, he shows all the accessories, beautiful, high quality, 4K. Uh, it's 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 great stuff. And um, does an exceptional job, really detailed. So by the time you watch that video, you're ready to pull the trigger or you're ready to move away. Uh, and that's the way it should be. That's the way it absolutely hey, Thank you. Uh, massive thank you to everyone who stopped by tonight. A huge thank you to my mods uh, for doing your moddy stuff. Everyone who hit the super chat button, well, I'll just smack my mic. Everyone who hit the super chat button, uh, thank you very much indeed for supporting the channel. And last chance, link in the description box down below for my iTunes and Spotify for the Meltdown Ocean Man single. Please purchase it. It's 99 cents. It's 79p in the UK. And 75% of the profits are going to charity, to Zack Snyder's Suicide Prevention Charity. So please, please, please go and support and we'll see you on Robert's channel next week, uh, which will probably be 7 p.m. UK time because we still wouldn't have gone through the daylight saving Robert has. Uh, So until then, take care. Bye for now.